Hello, everyone, <laughs> and welcome to our special one shot of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> uh, and get married. And yeah. And get married. That, that, yeah, that is exactly what's happening. No, um, Wait, what? <laughs> this was this was part of our uh, our Kickstarter. You guys generously donated towards the Legend of Vox Machina animated <laughs> series, and as one of our church goals was to go ahead and bring Vox Machina together for uh, another one shot. This one in particular uh, involves the wedding of Percival and uh, Vexalia. So uh, we'll go ahead and dive in here in a minute. Oh my uh, we all we all dressed up a little nice for the evening's occasion. Got some. Some new decor in the space oh, wow. for it, which is pretty fun. <laughs> Travis did not change his his nor normal street clothes. No, well, he, did, he, he didn't get the memo, unfortunately. No, he was on a t-shirt and jeans for the show, but today he was just in too much of a hurry, so he left his regular. Yeah. Yeah. That's five dollars yeah. for the first hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cheap. That's pretty affordable. Well, I'll chip in, and the, the episode's over tonight. So go to our shop now. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's go ahead and dive in to tonight's episode of Critical Role. Last we left off, Vox Machina, heroes of Iman and Exandria at large, had managed to seal Vecna, the newly ascended god, beyond the Divine Gate, with losses of friends and loved ones, but protected the lives of many, many more in generations to come. They then lost their friend Grog, his soul jettisoned to the land of Pandemonium. <laughs> Following suit, they chased down the location of his spirit, freed him from his prison, and then fought their way back, seeking the Githrazai entity known as Bob, as so given by the team here. You managed to find yourself back to Exandria, whole together, and that was that. History carried on. Yet here we are, about a year later, in this time, Many of you have found new epilogues to yourselves, begun to build a life outside of the adventurer's type existence that involves bringing Whitestone to the beginnings of its new heights, that involves reconnecting with one's daughter, that involves gathering the people under the banner of their new proven leader, that involves Kindling a relationship, long uh, pursued and teased. That involves <laughs> finding new ways to get drunk and beat the face of those that dare step on and call you a name. Oh, promise. <laughs> uh, and that involves actually the birth of a new child. Uh, Vexalia and Percival, if you'd like to. Uh, to talk a little bit about what what you've been up to this past year. Oh. Quite a bit. Yes. 
<laughs> Welcome back. Hi. Yes, hi. <laughs> um, well, we had a kid. We did. Yeah, she's super cute. Yeah, she's adorable. Yeah, wonderful. What's her name? Do you want to? Oh no, it's all you. It's Vespa. Oh, that's Vespa pretty good. good. Elena. Name. Vespa Elena Dorola. Just one middle name. This one. All right. Start simply. <laughs> <laughs> I think naming a kid after one of the vestiges is very smart. That's not well. Thank you, Grub. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Which thank you. Is a good name. Fenthris. Not a bad name. It's not terrible. Terrible. It's not terrible. Terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> so, you've begun preparations for the the Lady and Lord Dorolo the new leadership in Whitestone alongside your sister Cassandra, and the, uh, the event begins to loom closer and closer. You have decided on a destination wedding. <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of assholes. <laughs> so you send out your invitations yes. to friends and family. Uh, roughly how many people do you invite? Approximately, I'm forced to invite at least 150. That many, darling. I'm really hoping that none of them show up, though. Destination, that's, that's the point, the whole, right? It's the whole point of a destination wedding, is you get a vacation and, and they're nowhere around. And they got the invitation, so they can't really complain, can mm -hmm. they? 150, mm. okay. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> roll roll for right? attendance. <laughs> roll, oh, that's great. Matt has to do a quick seating chart. <laughs> <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. I, gotta f I, think he, I think he just doomed us. I think he had options planned for is, 10, yeah. 50, 100 plus. This is okay. what fifth edition is for. <laughs> a handful of names, perhaps, of your most prized uh, yes, most in, in, invitees. A few unfortunate distant relatives that must be appeased. Oh, you want actual right. names of people that are Well, just there? like a handful that, oh, well, that, 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 that you would put at the tables closest to yours. Oh. oh. Cassandra, Cassandra, of course. Kima, Laura, uh, uh, Gilmore. Gilmore, of course. Jarrett. Oh, that makes it's sense, wonderful. I suppose. Yeah. Um, you must. Mm -mm. Are you inviting Sealdor, Devana, and Valora? Obviously. Oh, one would assume. <laughs> um, and, and, and Terry, of course, if you can make it. Well, well Terry, must Terry, Terry obviously, better make it. He has to. Find. Um, no, I'm, yeah, I'm asking him to my. No, I'm asking. I was going to. No, no. Percival. I thought, I thought Keyleth would. Oh. No, Keyleth makes more sense for you, darling. Oh, that's fair. All right. Fine. Either way, I want them both standing next to us. That will make that's as long as that's what we have. That'll be fine. <laughs> All right. <That's> exactly <laughs> what table planning at weddings is like. <laughs> exactly. This is going to be a magnificent three hours of us planning a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you buckle in, guys. What about Jamal Saord? Yeah, yes, they seem cool. like a good. Yeah, and it's pretty quality. close, actually. Yeah. So, he should be able to make it. They should be able to make it. Mm -hmm. uh, thinking if there's anyone we've forgotten. Uh, I'm sure. Of course. <sighs> Pike? Yeah? Do you want your family there? Um, it's okay. <laughs> I think uh, we could invite them. They, they probably won't come. Let's invite but... them. They probably won't come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. They're on the invite. Thanks for thinking of that, though. That's yeah. really nice. Oh, and my dad and his wife. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in the back. Yeah. All right. Behind a tree or something where you can't really see. <laughs> so, in the months approaching, young Vesper is born. <laughs> the light is had as the various extended and chosen family of Vox Machina introduced to the child their own individual times, and as a group, as you all begin to gather for travel. For you could take a ship, and you may well, you are welcome to take a ship if you'd like across the long journey and enjoy a, a sea voyage towards the wedding, but you have more immediate means of transportation at your disposal. Do you mind? It'd be nice if we all got there before everyone else. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Are we good to go? Good? I, I, I got, believe so. Got all your stuff? Where are we going? Where are, is this group right now? Yeah. Am I there? <laughs> I didn't know I was there. Yeah, yeah, I just started. This is White Yes, and Okay, got yes. White Whitestone. Okay, but of course we're we're going to Dalen's closet, mm. as per the invitation says. Yes. Where is that again? Is in uh, the mountains. Yes. Yeah. Sure. 
the very sunny mountains with a lot of ocean around it. Yeah. Are you lying? Mm -mm. Do you remember we went there? We did? Yeah. For what? I've never been, actually. I'm curious. Oh. Yeah, that's true. That's right. It's quite nice. That's right. yeah. I suppose I should introduce myself. Oh, oh my God! God. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Sorry. I didn't Derek. know if I should yes. speak up or not. Um, um, this is Derek. Who's Derek? Derek? He's my plus one. Derek. 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 Yes, I'm um, the master of defense in Zephra. Plus one. Um, yeah. Well, it was. Is uh, it, not, no, not that kind of, uh, not that kind of a plus you're one. You're dating no. already. No, I mean it's not. It's been. A, no, it's fine. I encourage him. No, he's he's like um he's my, the council assigned him to me for my protection because they think I am, too important, to travel alone. <laughs> he's your body. So he's my Honestly, body she clearly doesn't need it, but it's a it's a political thing. Um. Really, the council insisted. <laughs> He's also been in charge as the Master of Defense and gathering a local defense team, if you will. Oh. Like a SWAT team of some sort? Like um, a National Guard. Oh. Oh. Keely, I'm the National Guard. What do you need a team for? Well, you're, uh, you are the Grand Poobah. Oh, right, my yeah. official duties. Anyway, don't mind me, I'll be hanging back and just offering support. What do you look like? Beat me to it. <laughs> uh, Derek has, uh, he's a little older than y'all. Uh, he is half elven as well. He doesn't have fully pointed ears. He has two scars uh, cut along his cheeks that are old. A little, a little grizzled, um, a little tired around the eyes. He has a blade and a shield on his back and leather straps across his chest. Uh, one arm is clothed in like a, a very nice white linen shirt for the occasion. The other arm is bare and has a full shoulder and arm tattoo of clouds breaking with a sun Ooh. right here on the shoulder. Um, here he looks like this. I'm sure. Oh, let me see. Is he a human? He's oh no, you said oh. half elf. Damn. Oh, oh damn. Oh, hello, nice. sir. What's nice. up? Yeah, he He's got like cool armor. Well, all right. Sure. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> About how you old is done, this fine gentleman? Done worse, cute. That's uh, pretty good. Pretty good. But he's my bodyguard. Sure, sure. Is this going to be a running gag? Probably. No the running trip, gags. Or? This is just how I see the world. <laughs> you warned me. It's the me. prism. <laughs> you did warn me. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So, gathering your things, meeting out by the sun tree in the center of the main thoroughfare and central white stone, you all present yourselves before Keyleth, and you may. Where's Terry? Oh, he's not here yet. He's coming? Well, yeah. Oh, maybe he's meeting us there. I, I didn't really make it clear. It might be with Cassandra, possibly. Okay. Terry! Terry is the automaton maker? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Oh dear. Terry? Terry? Hello! Oh, you are! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, look at you lot. <laughs> oh, don't you look amazing? I was over there just wandering about, and I saw. The seven, eight of you? Who's this guy? Anyway, <laughs> I just, I, I thought, this this couldn't be my old friends. You look too fancy and gussied up, and I came on over and look at you all. You look amazing, fantastic. Doty, Doty, take this down. <clears throat> it has been years since I've seen my, my friends, my partners. Oh, God. My <laughs> battle seasoned partners, and yet it feels like no time has gone by at all. The rapport that we share is famous and everlasting, and I feel, looking across all their faces, that they missed me tremendously. I feel like I remember you. What is going on? The oh. sadness in their face, mixed with the hopeful joy of seeing mine once more, Ooh. makes no, for a wonderful no. moment. No, I lost it. Uh, Tody, take a note, we'll need this moment illustrated, probably by our second or third best illustrator. Terry. 
You have illustrators? Oh yes, yes, I've upgraded. My books are uh, are, are fil- filled with uh, all sorts of things now. Wow. Um, yes, yes. What number Dodie is this? This is Dodie 5.0. Oh. Uh, Dodie yeah. 4.0 had a little glitch. Uh, he tried to kill us all. Oh. Um, but it was, it's fine, it's fine. And uh, now Dodie 5.0 is in service and he's, uh, he's remarkable. Every time there's a little bit of, a, of an improvement. Check Harry. <laughs> yep, oh, that that's the improvement. He has one opposable thumb. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That is fully automated. Yeah. That is great. Pretty good. Are yeah. you still baking? Oh, yes. Well, you know, with my duties to the brigade, I don't have much time to to tend to the kitchen uh, very much, but I have uh, I have gone back to uh, to to bake a few desserts, not as good as you all. Uh, how is the shop running these days? Franchises mm. so well. Yeah, it's Just everywhere. Is I mean, that true? Yes, yeah. yes. We're about to open up shop in Wildmount actually. Wow, mm. wow. I have yet to receive a percentage of, of, of that, <laughs> but I, uh, I assume it will, it will be coming. Yes, maybe you can help uh, find a location. Sure, I'll, yeah. I'll send my best people to scout it out. Wonderful. Well, this is going to be so much fun, 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 fun. When do we depart? <laughs> right now. All right. Yeah. Keith, please. Okay, Thank have you. everything? Dress, shoes, Dress, shoes, hats. Yes. Definitely People. not wearing it already. Mm. Definitely okay. not. I didn't bring 300 hours of role playing experience for this character. Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll make do. That's right. I think that's how the spell worked, right? With the resounding echo of (laughs) the exterior (laughs) bark of the trees, make exactly Uh, the the exterior of the sun tree's trunk splits in the center with a creaking. Uh, there you can see behind it the white sands of a familiar beach awaiting you. You rush through into the tree as it closes behind you, each of you stepping out, your feet sinking slightly into the soft, sandy beach as you now stand before a relative, relatively thick, tall palm tree. Um, the sun is coming through, though it is a bit of a hazy day. There's a bit of clouds in the sky. You guys glance around. Uh, the the warm air coming with bits of salt and sea spray kind of wafting on the breeze. You look out over the Bay of Gifts, Shamal Bay, here at the base of the Agrad Mountains on the northeast side of Marquette. You can see the beautiful cities that uh, wrap around the kind of crescent shape of this bay and the many, many ships coming, going, or docked. Uh, it is glimmering with white silks and Colored materials draped from uh, from torch top to large lantern. It is it is just a display of colors and culture, and it's been some time, so it's nice to return. Hmm. You shortly gather yourselves and make your way towards where you know the uh, the actual event space has been supposedly prepared for you in advance. Um, Going to double check as it is kind of early after, I want to say early day, you know, just after noon, like 1, 1 30 in the afternoon here. Um, you can glance over and see a series of tables set up about maybe 50 or 60 feet from the shoreline. You see tables set out there with benches and chairs and, and little candelabras and torches set up around them. They have all sorts of large, heavy kegs and crates. You can see what looks to be a raised platform on the edge of the beach, right by where the waves are, where it is that this ceremony is meant to take place, here on the bay itself. You can see a number of uh, folks quickly, frantically rushing around, trying to to set uh, cloth onto the tables and utensils and doing double, triple checking of all the materials required. Uh, None of them have noticed your presence as of yet. Uh, What you do know is that this evening looks to be the uh, the reception, or the, uh, the, the... Rehearsal? Rehearsal, thank you, the reception. The rehearsal for the evening and a smaller crew of friends that you invited to come and join for dinner. <laughs> it's uh, a fucking wedding. <laughs> it's like a wedding. Oh, man. And then tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow is the big day in the actual event. So. Wow, it's so nice that they let you check in the day before at this venue. 
Man, that's hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> Too real. Wow. Too real. Felt that. So, the space is here. People are scattering around. You have uh, actually the the Bay of Gifts and Shmall Bay there at your disposal. You're not sure who has arrived yet, as it's probably a good five, six hours until the actual uh, rehearsal dinner transpires. What would you like to do? Uh, it's still run. I'm just saying. I think it's a little late for that. Oh, you say that? I, I have a ship chartered, <laughs> ready to go, taking care of everything. We can be out of here in less than an hour. Just take our friends and go. They can come too, sure. But the kegs. You're right, Grant. The That's kegs. That's fair. We yeah. should stay. I mean, for the kegs. For the kegs, if, if nothing else. Yes. Mm. Uh, I, I'm. Know. I'm going to go check on Vesper really fast, make sure she's in a room. Okay? I'm going to. I'll go. check in with the wedding planner. Thanks. See if we can find everybody in their rooms. Terry? Y yes? You know you're standing next to me tomorrow, right? I was. It was a little confusing, <laughs> to be honest. I got a letter from Percival, yes. my yes. science bro, and I did write a speech for him, but then, oh. but then you sent me. Your invitation to be your best man, yes, and uh, uh, man of honor. I'm not quite sure on Whatever. the details, so I I adapted the the speech for you. <laughs> Perfect, darling. Perfect. So who's standing behind you? Well, that would be you, Bea. You have a speech, oh. I assume. <laughs> yes, I'm I can tell. Super uh, great at making speeches. You are on the fly. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm quite excited. The cape helps. I'm not wearing the. I'm not wearing the cape. I'm not wearing the cape. You'll be fine. Just picture everyone in the audience naked. Yeah, don't fuck it up. I think the speeches are tonight for you and Terry. Oh. oh. Well, then I'd better go to my room and get some beauty sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and so it won't be so confusing for me to be in this scene. I'll leave now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Terry and Dodie then shuffle off through the sands, heading in towards shore. You can see Dallin's closet itself, the mm -hmm. the collection of single story uh, kind of resort abodes, and this this uh, spread out in type arrangement. In the center of which sits the large tavern known as the Perfect Pearl. Um, you guys have been here before, so you know the lay of that location. Mm -hmm. The last time ended in some shenanigans. <laughs> um, you're looking for the, for the wedding planner. Yes. Okay. Uh, you what is their name? Well, have, have you? Are you? Have you been given the information to Keyleth? Yes, of course. Okay, so you're you're set for this. Okay. All right. I'm. You were looking for. <laughs> you were looking for. Uh, uh, Zaynakosh. 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 You've got it, right, darling? Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. So, as, you, as you step towards the actual uh, location of this event, you can see folks running around, setting up more chairs. They're offloading from a large cart in the back that had been dragged through the sands and past the various trees and clusters of green before it turns into full, full beachside. Uh, more tables and more chairs. They're this, whether or not a lot of people said they're going to show up, they're planning for quite a few, it looks like. Derek, come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, so you both approach. You do see in the midst of it what looks to be a female half-orc with uh, very, very short cut hair that kind of comes into a bit of a pompadour that, that sticks up in the front. Um, her chin kind of pokes out a bit as she keeps her head raised, looking over and inspecting the folks around her. Uh, a sleeveless blouse. Um, as well as just very nice, airy, baggy pants and a pair of, of boots, really well made, that lace up the sides each, front to bottom. Um, you can see she holds what looks to be a packet of paper and is in the process of marking with a piece of charcoal various notes and giving instructions before noticing you both approach. So, all right, put the, the, put the presents over there, okay. Hello. Hello, can I help you? You must be Zainakash. I am, and you are? Uh, I am Keyleth of the Arishari, Voice of the Tempest, Vine Speaker, Ghostly and papers. the best man. Right, okay, I have you right here. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, Glad yes. you could make it. Yes. You're a bit early, um, mm -hmm. and you are? Uh, 
Derek. Derek. <laughs> he is with me. He's not on the paperwork. He's my plus one. Throws some marks down. Derek, okay. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you as well. Pleasure. Oh. Uh. I know. I know. I'm not. It takes the whole me. It takes me used to. Is your bag, not mine. Oh God, it's mine. <laughs> oh God, so we're in trouble. You're the voice of the tempest. <laughs> I just wanted to check in on behalf of the bride and, bride and groom on how things were shaping up. It's looking, it's looking beautiful. It's looking good. It's not finished, though, right? No, by by no means is it finished. Okay. But by time for the reception, there will be a. Because this a has much... to be perfect. Oh, <laughs> I just, oh sorry, oh, sorry. T trust. Uh, there is. This is one of a long lineage of weddings and such events that have been thrown here on the uh, the beachy shores of Dallin's Closet. I would not worry if I were you. Okay. And even this display you see here is still in the very early stages. By sundown this evening, for the rehearsal, Are there it will Are snowdrops? Do you have the snowdrops? Was that requested? Goes to the papers. Here, let me just, and I just start cheered crafting snowdrops. Like dollar bills. Like. Like a slot machine. Here you go. These are important. All right. Uh, well, Jamal, uh, pick these up and prepare to scatter. All right. Uh, and you the have the cake coming. Marked. Cake is coming from the Slayer's Cake, from the Marquette branch. Yes. <laughs> Right? A uh, cake is, is part of the package, yes. Perfect. From the Slayer's Cake, you're not doing the one that you all provide, right? I just oh wanted to make boy. sure. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm sure you have. <laughs> I'm sorry. It will be taken care of. Yes. I'm sweating. Okay. It's just, these people mean a lot to me, and I don't want to fuck this up, okay? <laughs> We no, treat all of our clients with the utmost appreciation, okay. respect, and diligence to their special day. Okay. Do not worry. Okay. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> Here is a, um, a like a sending stone. I have the other one. If you need me, just just call me. Okay. Just. I'll be nearby. It'll be done. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> Basen passes it off to somebody. Who's? My assistant. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go, go relax, down. enjoy, welcome yes. to Dolan's closet. <laughs> speech, I have speech. He goes and turns around and starts going back to keeping tabs on business around. <laughs> <laughs> that was. That okay, was. I go, I try and write a speech. Holy amazing. shit. I am putting Vesper down for her nap, and I'm going to go uh, look for. Pike and Scanlan's room, are they in the same room or different rooms? I don't know, we didn't discuss it ahead of time. <laughs> are there still different rooms? Maybe, I don't know. That's up to you guys. Oh boy, oh, we should have we so talked we about this. Talk it out, talk it out. Figure it out. Talk it out. Are they, are I they feel like already so or they I feel fun. like they're in separate rooms. I, you know, I, uh, Kaylee wanted to come see the coast, so I'm sharing a room with Kaylee. Obviously. Yes. 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 Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and and Pike Pike's on her own, of course. Right. It wouldn't be proper, you know, right. for two single people to share a room. That I just didn't know. wouldn't I mean, be you've, proper. You've done it before, so I didn't know. I have shared rooms with people before, yes, and and we have not been married, but I'm trying to turn over a new leaf, you know. Mm. Uh, bless Saren Ray, she's been really guiding me through this period of my life, and uh, I, I think we're gonna, I think I'm turning over a, a new chapter. Wonderful. Yes. Can I talk to you? Sure, yes, what's up? Are we gonna get drunk before this thing tonight, or what? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Finally, I can again. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, Okay, so uh, we invited my father. Obviously, you know, I don't care if he's here or not, it doesn't matter to me. However, um, I do need somebody to walk me down the aisle tomorrow, and, um, well, 
I was wondering if it would be you. Why me? I'm the weirdest choice! <laughs> You're really not. <laughs> You're really not. Oh boy, this is an honor. I was really planning on being super duper drunk with Grog the whole day. Ooh, well, you know, really, the reception is the fun time to get drunk. Mm hmm. Well, uh, of, co of course. You know, if you want me to walk you down the aisle, do you want just a standard walk down the aisle, or do you want a little something something? Scan, and you put any flavor you want to on All it. All right. Dave. I'll think of something nice. All right. It would be a privilege and a great pleasure to serve as your father for the day? I mean, I know it's stupid, but I, I have always looked up to you. I maybe haven't said it, but. Wow, I, I'm flattered and touched. And I will undo a few of the pranks I had planned for your wedding. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. Wow. As you, as you leave the room, you turn around and you see a uh, gnomish girl with short, kind of gel-spiked, dark auburn hair carrying what looks to be a heavy case of luggage comes. The man goes, all right, sorry, right, there happens to be the, uh, the bride-to-be, right? Yes, good all to right. see you, dear. Is the, uh, the deadbeat in that room? Yeah. Perfect. You look gorgeous. I'll be even more beautiful tomorrow, you just wait. <laughs> I look forward to it. In the meantime, I've got to go destroy someone's ego. Hold on. <laughs> Push us past. Hey! <laughs> you! Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I'll carry my bag. <laughs> <laughs> and she comes up and gives you a hug. And, uh, Well, it's been a while. You it's look been... good, no new scars. Well, not that you can see at the very least, but. Uh... Well, yeah, keep your personal life to yourself. <laughs> um, how's business? We making money still? Business has been fine. Mm -hmm, I've mm -hmm. brought on a few other associates, uh, you know, just to keep more of a distance, best sure. we can, a chain of, of folks that are um, burnable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> Probably for the best. Gotta keep it mysterious, you never exactly, know when exactly. you're gonna have to cut and run. It's been well. I've actually been looking to put some of our um, saved uh, income into some more, uh, let's just say, legitimate businesses. Hmm, interesting. Fingers and in all the pies, you know? Yeah, sure, so anything particular in mind, or? I've been looking into uh, a bit of the gold trade. Oh. I'm thinking of making like, Smaller gold coins that can be used universally. Make it, make it well known. Maybe folks everywhere. It's not quite a, a mass, but like a little bit of a coin. Oh, wow. Interesting, <laughs> interesting idea. I see a lot of growth potential in that. I'm thinking so. Let's get. Uh, I'm you know spreading what? word, telling folks all about it just subtly, you letting know, the word get out. You know there. who's super duper rich? <laughs> hmm. The groom. Let's. Uh, why don't you just sidle up to him during the uh, reception when he's all lubricated and everything, and talk him up? Maybe you can score an investor. I think that's practically a very fine idea. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Oh, no. But no, seriously. <laughs> that like, gives you a little smack in the face. All right. It's I, good to see you too. <laughs> it was a cryptocurrency that finally wiped out the Daro. <laughs> So dumb. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. All right. Anyone else handling anything throughout the afternoon before I the? Mean, uh, we should probably talk to Pike. We should sure talk to Pike. Make sure everything's uh, taken care of. Yes. And Grog at some point. Oh well, yeah, I, I'm sure he know. Uh, did you talk to Grog? I hadn't talked to Grog. Well, I figured there's no sense talking to Grog because he was just going to forget anything I said anyway. <clears> till the day of. Maybe we'll just tell him tomorrow then. That perhaps it's for the best. Yeah. Okay. All, all right. Let's talk to Pike. All right. Pikey Boo! Hello, Pike! Hi, hi! Hey, getting ready for the reception and yes, the rehearsal. I am, I'm getting ready, I'm putting on my best. Yeah, yeah. Put a braid going. It's really beautiful, yeah. Thank yeah. you. I like this bow. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, we just wanted to make sure that you had some some ideas of what you were going to say, what, what, uh, what yeah. sort of uh, yes, ceremony I do. you were going I've, to. 
never done this before, but is there anything that you guys really want me to say, to not say, to focus on, not focus on, that type of a thing? Or do you want me to just wing it? I mean, I trust you. You know, um, implicitly. Yes. Okay. Oh. I think you should wing it. I think winging it is probably the best way to go. Really, I mean, okay. the deed's already been done, this is just for fun. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, I'm very excited. Thank you guys so much. This is this is a a, a privilege and a great pleasure. <laughs> I'm so excited. You're going to do wonderfully, dear. Thank you. Um, do you guys do you guys have a job for Grog? Oh yes, of course. Well, yes. Yeah, so I, I, we had had some thoughts about uh, perhaps letting him uh, do the flowers. The flowers distribute the, uh, the flowers. Okay. I just think he wanted a job, because I, I feel like we all had something to do, and I think he felt bad. We should, maybe we should, maybe we should tell him tonight, yeah, just so to get it out of the way. Super drunk. That's fair. Okay. Okay, let's. Ooh, we'll go talk. Good idea, okay, thank we'll you. Okay, we'll have fun tonight, though. Thanks, okay. Pike. Okay, I love you guys, bye. Wrong! Oh. Well, there's, there's some wedding business we need to talk about. Do you have a moment? Yeah, yeah just, just a moment. <laughs> You're already oh. wearing your hat. <laughs> yeah, my station requires that I maintain a certain level of uh, plumage at all times. The, 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 the rest of your outfit seems to be missing, but the hat is lovely. What are you talking about? This is the most clothes I ever wore in my life. That's <laughs> fair. Well, we were we were hoping that you would uh, follow in the procession yes. to. Uh, to taste the food? Yeah. No, I've already been making the rounds. I asked for like, all the appetizers, <laughs> and I like, made sure that at least half wasn't poisoned. Now they've run out to the market to go like refill the stocks, because I've got a bit carried away. But it's real good, I can promise you, and I haven't shat once yet, so it's yeah. all good. Oh, good. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Mark, also, me up a bit. we were hoping that you would, you would, uh, it's a very important job of before the bride comes down the aisle. Yeah, that's you. That's yes. me. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a, it's, it's really got to be somebody of very high station uh -huh. to walk down the aisle yep. and, uh, and put. Clear people out of the way. Clear people out of the way. fucking people out, say <laughs> move. Mostly they're already moved Here out of the way. Here comes the bride. That, but also to lay down uh, the snowdrops that Will be like a, all along the ground. A scattering of, pe of pedals. A scattering of pe pedals. If you can manage that. If that's all are right. You, with are you all right? Are, are you? Yeah. Is that okay, Grog? Is that? Could I have this job? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it's for somebody very important. Mm -hmm. Can can you handle that that level of responsibility? I have a question. Yes. Yes. Could I have this job? Grog, of, of course you can. <laughs> I mean, only the most important part here. Of course. Now, how much violence is associated with this post? It's all <laughs> metaphorical, sadly. Okay, so I take the snowdrops. Thanks. And um, <laughs> I scatter. Yes. As we walk. Yeah. Do I throw them at people? <laughs> sure. If you like. And then. And, and Softly. Then, Softly. Mostly on the ground, though. Right. Like, yeah. how. Are there like very distinct rules about softly? Go practice. It's pretty softly. I go over to like a nearby table in my room. I pick like the the flowers out. I uh, throw them at Percy. <laughs> How hard do you throw them? Like, like medium. <laughs> roll an attack roll. <laughs> First roll of the night. With your strength modifier, proficiency bonus. Four, sixteen. Um, I mean. You're not wearing armor currently. Oh well, it doesn't matter because I can actually I, I can do the dex catch anyway. Okay, yeah. So you. you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe this isn't a job for me. Cut all of them. Oh no, that was quite nice. Oh my god! I'm not you have to you have to pull the petals off first. Yeah, it's you're not. You not throw the entire flower. Just the smallest part. Uh, just 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 the fun bits. Right, just, right, just the fun right, 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 right. I'm just gonna leave them here. I okay. have You can problem. practice. I'll, pra I'll practice all night, I swear to God. Okay. <laughs> please don't replace me. <laughs> no, please. Can I, can I drink beforehand? A little. Yeah? Yeah. Inevitably. Right. 
What do do I get like a title for this prestidic honor? Grand Poobah of Flowers and the Doinks. <laughs> That's quite good. It's magical. It's going Thank to be a magical you. day. All right. <clears throat> Grand Poobah. I will do you. Doinks. I will do you right. Thanks, Thank bro. you. All right. We'll see you tonight at the rehearsal. <laughs> That could have gone worse. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was great, yeah. actually. All right. Oh, right. As they leave and walk down the hall, <coughs> passing Keyleth's room, Derek is standing outside uh, guard. Um, Lord and Lady Dorolo. Uh, hmm? Derek, yes. Uh, sorry if this is being presumptuous. The voice of the Tempest is working on your speech. I'm hearing things get thrown around a oh. little bit, but I, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Stop I just it. wanted to. <laughs> Sounds right. She's a very wise leader. We know. Um, but wedding aside, mm. and I'm sorry, I'm under the understanding that this is a, a, a renewal of, of vows. Yes, you're already. It was a. It was a more or less a. a no, darling. We've been living in sin this entire deeply. time. Oh. oh well, everyone lives in sin in Zephyr, so. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to um, congratulate you. You've just had a child. Yes. Am I right? Yes. You have that tired look in your eye. I have four. I have three triplets, uh, girls. Triplets? And three triplets. Wait, three triplets. <laughs> Not three, three sets. sets. Just, just, just the three triplets. They all look alike. Wow. <laughs> they run me ragged. Three girls, they have a little brother, and uh, this tired look, I see it in yours. So I just wanted to say welcome to the club. And, Thank you. And uh, congratulations. Um, Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's so kind to call a bride tired. <laughs> the day before she gets married. <laughs> you have 24 hours. <laughs> also, um, I met your brother. What? Your brother, I met your brother. Um, he, was a, he was a good man. When did you meet Vax? Oh, well, he lived with the Tempest for oh, a year. Oh, I mean, yes. Um, Obviously. I'm sorry, I've, over, I've overstepped my bounds. I just no, don't. it's... I know that he, he would wish he could be here. And I'm sorry as well. Well, we wish he was here as well. Pardon me. Well, I'm gonna take my sandal out of my mouth and uh, check on the Tempest. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a brief bit of Keyleth cursing as the door opens temporarily. Stop! God damn it, writing! <laughs> I think with that sound that I need a drink. Yeah. If you would care to accompany me. You guys head to the Perfect Pearl? The Perfect Pearl. The Perfect Pearl, okay. As you make your way through the hallways between the various separate little bungalow-like homes that sit on this beachfront, uh, you walk around towards the front of the Perfect Pearls, you see two figures walking in from the deeper sands towards the waters. You see wide-brimmed hat, a tall human woman with blonde hair, braids pulled tightly back as she wears a, a comfortable swimsuit, and a small halfling girl, darker skin, light brown hair, wearing a, a similar type uh, bathing suit, who's clutching a large tankard that is quite big in her hand as they both approach, look over and wave, and begin to rush up towards it and see uh, Alora comes up and goes, my goodness, you've already arrived, and goes and gives a big hug to you. How long have you been here? Oh, well, we, we decided to arrive a few days early. We don't uh, get to this side of Exandria very often, and uh, you know, Kima hasn't actually been to Shamal Bay before, so oh, we decided. Kima. Are you enjoying it? <laughs> She's holding. She goes, Are you kidding me? This is great. <laughs> it's warm all the time. I don't really go swimming often. Not much of a swimmer, to be honest. But I can float, <laughs> <laughs> and I can paddle, and I can drink, <laughs> and uh, everything here is sweet and fruity. I love yeah, it. It's wonderful. So, are you finally going to make an actual honest woman out of this one? Well, there's nothing to be done about that, but at the very <laughs> least, we're cementing some titles. <laughs> I can respect that. So, uh, for the uh, dinner tonight? Mm. 
Or have drinks, right? Oh, yes, so many. Of course. Kegs and kegs and all the whatever you want. Like it's on Whitestone. I think this. I think this sweet, right? Nothing this sweet. It's a couple things that sweet, but not everything that sweet. All right, all right. She finishes whatever she has. <sighs> well, I guess let's start getting ready. I need a shower. She <laughs> grabs Alura's hand and begins walking off. Alura's like, "Oh, all right. Well, we'll join you in a bit then." <laughs> And they both head off towards their chamber. Well, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very tired, and it's not even happened yet. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we will have that drink then. I'm going to go in and get us both something sweet. Okay. And very, very vacation y. Easy enough to find. Alan's closet <laughs> specializes in, in various twists on Marquesian uh, alcoholic beverages, many of which are mixed with many, many tropical fruits that are found in the vicinity of the northern shores of, of Marquette. Um, they do have some more like imported harder liquors and wines as well, but they're a bit pricey for what they are. But this, this, this particular bar specializes in things that'll give you a headache the next morning. Mm. I don't want a headache. Have some fizzy water afterwards. Okay, okay. We can, we can, we can make a way around them. Okay. We'll be fine. Okay. So you guys want to relax for the remainder of the evening? Eventually, it gets a bit cloudy. Like marine layer begins to roll in. It's kind of a gloomier night, but or afternoon. But you do have a druid who can control weather. So at least when it comes time to the actual event. I mean, everyone needs a druid should. at their Sun wedding. Yep. I would have loved to have had a druid. We, well, we worked out okay. We worked out okay. But oh, it was great. It was nice. Yeah. We were a little worried leading up to it. Same. Mm-hmm. It was raining. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, nevertheless, you have, drink have your drinks. No, I'd probably be paranoid enough that I'd be keeping an eye on it. As mm-hmm. soon as like Marine Layer would come in, I'd be like, good, it's good. It's just <laughs> fucking gusts after gusts <laughs> after gusts. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Voice of the Tempest. All right. So eventually the sun begins to take the sky from its blue and gray to purples and oranges, and that you know is the cue to begin assembling for the rehearsal dinner. As you all begin to slowly piecemeal your way towards the the event location, you can already see the the small torches and uh, candelabras are already lit, the tables are set, and some of your guests are already beginning to assemble and talk amongst themselves. You can see uh, amongst them currently, you see Terry is already arranged in mid-conversation with uh, the the glorious Gilmore and a, a, <laughs> and a, a beautiful like gold and silver uh, and white robe that kind of dangles, like billows past his arms. You haven't seen him outside of much purple. This is a very kind of like dressed properly for the wedding. Um, you see Kim and Allura have already like situated a place where they're going to sit. Uh, you see Jarrett, you see Cassandra has arrived. Uh, the Vassar family is currently present. Um, but as you all begin to approach, you can see uh, Zena quickly steps up to approach. Uh, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, if you would like to sit down, there are some gifts that have arrived for the evening and the uh, event tomorrow, and then uh, we can begin the rehearsal. Oh. Well, of course. Great, yes. yes. Gifts. Gifts, I suppose. Oh, I love okay. gifts. Wait, wait, wait. I reach in my pocket and I bring out a bunch of flower petals and I stop. <laughs> you keep going. Thank you, Grog. Wow. Back up. Good practice. <laughs> oh, wow. I said back up. <laughs> Go ahead, whenever you're ready. Thank you. I start stepping on the falcon. This is going to be fun. Do you get to open your presents now? I don't know. I don't know how it goes. Well, you're all about protocol. <laughs> what, what do you do? Uh, technically, I suppose we could. If they have arrived early, then that, there wouldn't be any particular problem with it. Uh, they, they are uh, for the event and the rehearsal, I think. They're not, oh. they're not packaged presents. Mm-hmm. They're just oh. gifts from folks who could not be here, I think. Oh. Oh. One, uh, and, and you see as uh, Zena goes through the list, 
One is from a Nostock Grayspine of Craghammer. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Uh, and has provided these and points across the tables, says, uh, sets of polished mithril utensils for the event oh. and for the keeping of Good white stone people. Good use of mithril. <laughs> that's for oh, sure. That's exciting. They also have a number of cases of Stasmin's Truskin Sunrise White and Red Wines from Camorda of Wildmount, sent by Realm Seer Eskilrain Darien. Oh. Very thoughtful, oh, very thoughtful. As you would know, these wines are like super, like they're pretty expensive, they're 60 to 70 gold a bottle, Whoa. both white and red. Um, so these are for uh, for the rehearsal tonight and uh, for the uh, event tomorrow, if you would like. Um, nevertheless, please sit and uh, <coughs> uh, I'm, I'm my, my post is finished. And she Thank steps you. back. Of course, of course. Need anything? Let me know. I'll just be right over there. And points over. There's a small chair situated by the nearest cluster of palm trees where she sits and just kind of awaits for any sort of additional instruction. As the sun begins to just slowly vanish over the horizon, you can see it turning a bright red. Everyone begins to kind of assemble and find their seats. Um, Crack open some of that red, will you? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I don't right. see why not. I'll make my way over to uh, Deckard. Dackard? Sure, Dackard's good. Daring. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, D- yeah. Dickard. That's me. Hey, you look like a quite capable fellow. Well, I'm not half your size, but I do all right. So tell me, as this is an evaluation process, what is the most amazing thing you've ever slayed? Are you about to attack me? No, no, no. Look, I just want to make sure if you're in charge of our like you know, you can handle yourself. Mm. I have been tasked with a very important role, so I cannot keep my eyes on a swivel like I normally would. Understood. <laughs> well, you know the voice of the Tempest. She can turn into just about anything. Yeah. Pretty well handle herself. Yep. Um, my being here is more of a formality, really, than uh, real use, but um, I have slain a Bahir. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh man, we saw one of those back. Oh, it was like OG days. <laughs> oh man, all by yourself? But there were a couple of us. I wow. led the charge. I've heard about you. I've heard about all of you. Um, what have you heard? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. yes. <laughs> hi, I'm down here. I uh, know everyone in Zephyr knows about you all. Uh, the voice of the Tempest has told us some, but you must know by now. Word of you lot have. Uh, Spread across the continent. Well, then we're doing our jobs well. Yes. Heroes, that's what they say. The Tempest has told me that you guys can kind of be a pack of assholes. <laughs> yeah, that sounds more appropriate, actually. I don't know about the first part. Yeah, question Do you always call her Tempest? Voice of the Tempest? <laughs> Tempe? Like, do you have a nickname or, or a shorthand? Yeah, Big T. Uh, Tempest, usually, there isn't any one. Sometimes we use Kaiteake, but that's. Situational. Oh, wow. Deep cut. He's <laughs> <laughs> passing. He's blood. He's killing this interview right now. I'm just and saying. You said that uh, uh, you you work for her. Is it just work, or are you you know? I'm a married man with four kids. Yes, it is just work. <laughs> okay. You got four kids. Wow. Yeah. Man. Wow. See the bags under my eyes. Yeah. yeah four kids. A handful. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of weapon? <laughs> oh! Pulls out sort of a out of world Roman style blade. Oh, Gladius. Yeah. Oh, right. baby. And he gives it a spin. Oh. And it is fucking sharp as hell. And you hear it go Fwing! through the air. As it, does, uh, <laughs> it could stay. How, How about magic? Do you have any magic on you? Don't have any of that. Oh. Don't understand it. Don't want to understand it. It's super complicated. I've got one skill, one application. All right. Keep the chief alive. Sure. The that's chief. Nothing. Now that's a good nickname. Yeah. Mm. I like that. Chief T. <laughs> chief Keef. I like that. Can I use that? You bet. Oh, yeah. 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 Chief Keef. <laughs> chief Keef. It's a nice blend. <laughs> oh man, I'm remembering a yeah, joke from no, three no, days no, ago. No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's not for this show. No. Um, I think he could stay. Oh, well, you're in luck, because 
And Grog meets a new person, it's 50-50 whether they live or die. Yep, mm. a lot of time they die. Do you know what Chief T has told me? That you can sing like a devil. Is that the case? I have been known to uh, to make some music in my days, yes, that's true. I uh, have been looking forward to, I mean, this is a wedding, I assume you're singing. Is that the case? I. I would assume so. I mean, it's pretty, everyone's going to be singing. He very, not so he goes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll even write a song for you, Derek. That's, I mean, you can if you want, but <laughs> <laughs> that's totally not necessary. <laughs> very humble. I like him. Yeah. Wow. Hello, Derek. Oh. oh uh, the Everlight. Oh. I've heard all about you. Well, I haven't heard anything about you, so. Is this his daring? He slayed over here with a couple of other folks. He's got a gladiator sword. It's real sharp, and he works for Chief T. Keith. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, what are your intentions with her? Um, yeah, um, what are your intentions with her? Just to <laughs> keep her al alive. I'm a bit of a new hire, I'm sorry. She's only been back for, for a, a relatively short amount of time, and it's only been the last three or four months that, I, that I've been taken on. She's been running the circuit, going all over the globe on diplomacy, I can't say much, but diplomacy missions, mm -hmm. and I've been there just sort of as prop muscle, really, but. Do you love her? <laughs> You just got here. I have three uh, girls and uh, and uh, and a son. And you got uh, four kids. I have four kids and a wife I love very much. No, <laughs> boy, that's a handful. <laughs> yeah. So you're married. Yes. How long have you been married? Uh, forty-seven years. Wow, it's a long time. You look so young. He not subtly rubs his slightly pointed half elven ears. Well, you protect her with your life, so. <laughs> That's I'm the job. I, I know, will. but sometimes people don't actually take that seriously. Yep. I'm going to go get a drink. <laughs> Do you need any help with that? Sure. Yeah. The, the, the servants in the, in, the, in the process, they've opened a number of the, the, the really fine red and white wines and are starting to fill the glasses. You guys like see them <coughs> over to the side, like pouring just a little bit in each glass. Um, would, you like, would you like me to fill your glass as well? Yeah, but do it the right way. Here, this yeah. pike's cup first. Pour it on there. Well, this is the top, and so you have to pour it to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, of course. Keep pouring, keep pouring. Yeah, 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 keep going. On the top, on the top. Uh, yeah, drink it. it. <laughs> drink it, yeah. Yeah, that's a good dog. <laughs> and would you like some as well, sir? I'm sorry. Is there a space between there and the top? Yeah, that's right, keep pouring. Yeah, that's right, okay, good. Can you aerate those, though, please? I think that's the best way. Very important. Enjoy. Yes. No, I'm, I'm away for the ale, thank you very much. We don't have any ale. Uh, what? We have wine. I would like some ale. Uh, what do you mean you don't have ale? The, the, it was not part of the, the, the requests for the wedding. It was, it was, it was I, proper I wine. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't like fruity okay, okay. drinks, though. Okay, okay. I don't. Uh, Listen to me. What is your name? Oh, uh, my name is Najid. Najid. Yes. You need to do whatever you can. You need to go whatever tavern you need to go to, and you need to get 25 casks of ale. Yeah. That's just for tonight. Yeah, five, 25. I would do my best. I'd, I'd, it might take a while. <gasps> Here's some money. <gasps> And rushes off. <laughs> what do you say? It's okay. It's okay. I think yeah. he's gonna Should go try to it? find some. I can't believe they don't me? have any ale here. God, I'm gonna I try like to fix I'm it. I'm on an island with no water. Oh, it's okay. Here, you can try this. <laughs> okay. You might what like it. This? You might not. <sighs> it's it's <sighs> good. It's good. It smells like food. It's you like it. 
Oh, it's like drinking flowers. Uh, yeah, it is like drinking flowers. Yeah, it's got like hints of earth and like blackberry and like lava rock and. Oh my god! You have a cool. yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! We never knew. He's a savant. Holy shit! <laughs> well, we'll get him a glass of that just for now. Somebody else kind of comes up and. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Thank you. Thank you so much. I tip him. <laughs> hmm. Did, did you went for more, sir? <laughs> no, relax. Walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Grog. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All righty. So uh, everyone has their, their wines poured for the toast. Everyone begins to find their seats, all your friends and family surround you, the immediate folks that were invited to be part of the rehearsal. Uh, the sun has set, the, uh, you know, the marine layer settles in, but the, the torches and the lights around keep it warm and kind of this, this cozy little space here on the beach. Trinket has a little bed right next to the main table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got one pink bow on him. In tribute. A little bowl of just all sorts of random meat assortments. Yeah. <laughs> a hat for some strange reason. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that hat? <laughs> Where'd you get the bowl of meat? <laughs> Who would like to begin the uh, the rehearsal? Everybody got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how look, it wasn't my choice start? to do this. You guys set this how shit up. I'm trying to. Oh, 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 Speech, speech, speech. Hello, everybody. Most of you probably know me, but for those who don't, I'm Keyleth. Tree, tree. Hey. Yes, indeed. Hey. You see Gilmore like clap? Those are those are my friends at the back. Where we go way back. Oh, sure. Um. So I am uh, the best man to Percy. Sorry, I gotta pull up my magical notes here. <laughs> um, you see, I actually wasn't asked to write a speech or be Percy's best man until literally hours ago, which probably says more about me than it does Percy, now that I think about it. But here we are. It's only because it was assumed, darling. Yes. We just, oh, we just, that's, no, it's fine. I'm just kind of nervous. Um, but you know, kind of miss your impulsive side. <laughs> you know, back when you had like a smoke monster in you and you were attached to that, and <laughs> mm. which isn't a. Um, oh, this is so stereotypical. Other drink oh over God. here, please. Um, okay. <laughs> um, in all honesty. Percy is the closest thing that I've ever had to a brother, and Vex is most definitely the closest thing that I could ever want for a sister. And all of Vox Machina is my chosen family, which, not to diss real family, but I feel like is a little bit more empowered because you made that choice and I will honor that choice. From now, forever, and whichever plane we all end up on, I guess. To the bride and groom. To the bride and groom! To the bride and groom! To the bride and groom! Mazel tov! Who's next? Oh, <clears throat> uh, uh, maybe me. Oh uh, yes, we're doing Tyrion. speeches. Hello, of hi. Uh, that was a lovely speech, Kila. Uh, I shouldn't try and be hi. funny. <laughs> you were wonderful. I, you know, it's not a competition, but I am an esteemed author, so I prepared a little <laughs> bit of a speech as, ahead of time. As a note, real fast. <laughs> Technically, everyone gets temporary hit points. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So it's your level plus your charisma bonus, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
So you get sweet uh, twenty, just twenty. I'm gonna get twenty temporary hit points no. <laughs> from Bummer inspiring leader feet. Yes. Oh my god! I owe a few more. Drunk Brent made speech. Oh my god! Three hundred. I just need dragon. seven more. Speech oh, again. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, uh, Doty, I need the piece of paper, please. Terry. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Doty has like like a, a, a tailored suit oh also God. over. <laughs> All right, settle in and prepare to be dazzled. Doty, take this to. Do not read that part. Okay. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> I, Terry and Gary Darrington, have been awarded many honors <laughs> my life and career. The honor of serving as a full member of the mighty Vox Machina. The honor of leading the even mightier Darrington Brigade. The many honors and awards I have received as an acclaimed author. Side note, my suitcase is full of copies of my latest book, Blonde on Blonde, an authorized biography of a legend. <laughs> if you want to sign copies, see me later. But the highest honor I have ever received in my short and exciting life has been that of standing beside my best friend and favorite late night gossip buddy, Vexalia, as her man of honor. Vex, you and I have something in common. When I met your husband, I too was smitten by him. As a friend, of course. We bonded over science. And <sighs> science can explain so much, uh, but it can't explain everything. For instance, when Percy kisses you at dusk, physics can explain the beautiful colors that paint the sky. When your heart beats faster as he approaches, biology can explain why. Engineering can help him master the inner workings of a complicated clock so that he knows what time it is to make you dinner when you're, you're coming home. But the one thing science cannot explain is the mysteries of passion. When he aims his gun, doesn't a small part of you get jealous for the target, for stealing his attention for just a moment? When you call him darling, I've seen his hand tremble as if it knows no word more magical than that one. Your love for each other has crossed continents, pierced dimensions, traversed planes of existence. You have stood in the face of gods, literal gods, and yet Percy's face is the one burned in your head at night when you lay down to rest. Yes, science brought Percy and I together, but love is what brought you and he together. It will sustain both of you as well as your many, many fancy children for eternity. Do we understand love? No. <laughs> There's no need. But large or small, cunning or naive, rich or poor, all of us at this wedding cherish it. And so a toast to me for making an excellent speech. Here! <laughs> Here! Yeah. 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 Oh, Terry! Hi, Grog. I'm going to go throw up now. <laughs> well done. I would have never known. At which point, uh, Little Rogue piped up. Uh, are there any more speeches to be had? I think that's it. Aww. It's a small group. Yeah. For tonight. Yeah. Very well. Then uh, she looks over towards the coordinator of the corridor and goes, ah, Then it is time for uh, the food. All right. And they begin to bring the meals out and setting the tables. Um, I need everyone to make a constitution saving throw for me. Yeah! Right. You're being poisoned right. by the fish? Right. No one's eaten yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh, natural 20. Nice. What? what is it with you Disadvantage and one Disadvantage on you, Pike, actually. <laughs> what? Say again? Disadvantage for you. Disadvantage for me? Yeah, constitution saving throw. 16. 16. 11. We're getting drunk. 21. 9. 10. 32. Wow. As the food's going out, you watch as members of the wedding party begin to get a little drowsy. The wine. Begin to lull their heads a bit and look a bit confused. Percy, you look across at Vexalia, and both of you lock eyes as your vision begins to fuzz and fade, the tunnel vision closing. 
eventually you hear the <gasps> as chairs fall back. Oh, no. Whole so stools stumble back into sand as the majority of the entire party present at this rehearsal dinner fall unconscious, stabilized at zero hit points. Oh, that shit! That is all of you, except for Grog <laughs> and Dern. Ah! Oh you both, God. however, are poisoned. The next hour. Hour. As all of us are down? All of you are at zero hit points and stabilized. Oh, <laughs> oh, fuck. While you both are fine, you're not unconscious, but you're poisoned. <laughs> you watch as the servers suddenly start like looking around nervously. What one of them who may have do? who may have snuck a drink begins to fall over and the, the bottle of wine shatters across one of the table edges. Uh, I'm scanning uh, the Same. entire area for any perception coming check for both of you. One looks out of place. <sighs> is it a disadvantage because of the poison? I can't remember. Poison is disadvantage. Two, uh, all the tech rolls and ability checks. So yes, disadvantage on your perception check. Oh shit! Well. Shit! It was Worse. good, and then it wasn't. Yeah, same. Twelve. Uh, much less. Three. All right. As you guys look out, your your vision is completely obfuscated by the the pulsing of this toxin in your veins. As you kind of look across, you see other members. You see Gilmore stand up from his chair and go, "What's going?" Oh, and falls back into the sand. Um, you see Kima currently trying to wake Alora up. Alora, shaking her, and even she's like, Ugh. You look back and watch as fog, heavy fog, is rolling in from the ocean and then hits the beach. Like a heavy wind just carries this mist that suddenly engulfs the entirety of this beachside. Cold air and moisture hits your face as your vision is suddenly clouded up to a distance of about 15 to 20 feet. Do a go, watch out. And shadows begin to move quickly <laughs> amongst the fog. <laughs> trinket's a move too, FYI. Make a dis, make a, oh yeah, Trinket did not drink any wine, so Trinket think it's fine. As you see the shapes moving quickly in the, in the mist. We're gonna go ahead and take a break. Whoa! Oh, oh, so it feels so soon. This is crazy. Oh, I guess so. Wow. Oh, what? Wow. Oh, so I mean, we're all gonna die before so we even get married. This is how Vox Machina dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just death saves, and you're fucking out. <laughs> well, it's stabilized. So you're not like taking death saves at this point, but you are at zero wow. hit points. What if oh, they man, crit on a zero hit point person? That's two. That's two odd. death saves. Yeah. If you crit. That's what I'm talking about. Has to quit. Who do I want to save? Hmm. I'll take exciting, bribes at the break. Matt. It's the best wedding I've ever been Holy to. Holy shit. Yep. It's not Am the I wedding yet. It's, oh, you're right. It's just the rehearsal. Mm. Yes. So we'll pick up here in a few minutes while we take a break, oh and uh, we'll see you guys in a second. The wedding is a charm. You are both unique. You faced death together multiple times. You've entertained each other, created for each other, and now, it's time to show that special someone just how deeply you feel for them. Instead of choosing a vengeance-filled smoke monster living inside a pistol, or staying with an acrimonious tree spirit with deep-seated toxic masculinity, choose each other. With these dazzling new rings from Critical Role, and Han Cholo. By the Dawnfather's sweet blessing, be the champion of each other's hearts.
Like a symphony playing to an empty theater, Critical Role dines alone without its audience. Yes, that validating and most enthusiastic congregation on the other side of the fourth wall. And what is this fourth wall separating the viewer from the creator? A portal to an often sought point of connection? Or the Twitch subscription zone? On the rare occasion that you miss the live bacchanal boasted by the ragtag group of thespians on Thursday night, you may always view the show on demand in the Shadowland known as the Twitch subscription zone. Picture, if you will, the necessary pieces to complete a jigsaw puzzle, but it's up to you to choose how it will be solved. You could, of course, subscribe with your debt rectangle, but many more divergent paths lie before you. Perhaps you found yourself in possession of an Amazon Prime account. You would then wake up to discover a free Twitch subscription each month for a channel of your choosing. But this artifact demands renewal, for you must resubscribe each month to quench its unyielding thirst. One need not walk alone. Those who have already found their way can illuminate the path for others via the gift a sub button on Twitch. Critical Role is humbled by your subscription and wishes to thank you from behind the thin veil of this fourth wall. We hope you enjoy our content as much as we enjoy making it. And so ends another meandering digression, a complicated parody promo down an indistinct highway to the region we call the Twitch Subscription Zone. You will subscribe. Twitch Prime subscribe. Gift subscribe. Subscribe. What do the critters in the other <laughs> verses say about me? Shut up, you emaciated bitch! String bean! Green pole! You sandwich size ziplock full of shit! You moldy, rusted spit can! <laughs> Ignorant, disgusting waste of blood cells! You're so fucking stupid, you couldn't track a giraffe in snow! You reanimated trash heap! <laughs> you disowned Olsen twin? Oh, <laughs> that doesn't sound appealing at all. Yes, hard. not appealing! Just like your shovel mouth, you ugly little dirt merchant! Oh, oh, oh. Shovel mouth, dirt merchant. I've never been happier to see your chiseled, handsome face, chosen one, <laughs> and your dried up cow shit excuse for a mug too, chestnut. Oh no. But if Travis is the chosen one, what does that make me? A liability. <laughs> That's the liability. Oh, oh God. He's a disgusting man with flesh-colored beard. Whoa. He will probably die alone because no one wants to hitch their wagon to a two-legged horse with macular degeneration and permanent resting bitch face. Oh, that is terrible. harsh. Man, he sounds like a trough filled with shit. Mm. And remember, this isn't me saying this. They say, a tetherball's pole's got more meat on it than you. <laughs> that you're a malnourished, dried up, volleyball looking little fuck. <laughs> and once again, keep in mind, this is not me. I am merely just a messenger of the many bards across the land. <laughs> okay, okay. Do all the critters hate me? I think so. I'm in their good graces, being the chosen one. You, however, <clears throat> are My a God. piece of shit.
And welcome back. So, last we left off, most of the wedding party present for the rehearsal dinner began to grow woozy before falling unconscious, stabilized at zero hit points, while those who had enough physical constitution to remain conscious find themselves poisoned and trying to take in what's happening in their surroundings. Yes, I wait. As the heavy fog rolls in and completely obfuscates the seaside vicinity of this event. What's going on? So we have both Durig and Grog. What are you guys doing? Where, where is the voice of the Tempest in comparison to Durig? You're right next her. to her. There. Right next to her. So, um, and the shadows are coming out from the water. Uh, no, Shadow. they're, they're like. Fuck my nose. <laughs> they're everywhere. Oh, well, you actually don't know because you rolled really shitty perception. Yeah, I have no idea. So, uh, blade is out, and I'm holding an action uh, for the moment that someone tries to attack the voice of the tempest. Okay. Yeah, you I have close, right back. I close on okay, the bridal party as well. <laughs> yeah, I close on the bride and groom. <laughs> bride and groom. Okay. Just pushing my face, wondering so why I'm not. Move around over here. Mm -hmm. And were they coming generally from the direction of the water or from multi directions? From multi directions, what you can see in the vicinity. Yeah, I'm sure everybody here is nice, but I'm here so over here. All right. You see a figure come quickly within range of the two of you from behind, like just along where the water edge is, warping around. Both of you guys are. You're holding your action, yes. so you get you get your attack. Okay, so I will attack, and I will spend a superiority die because I'm a battle master. Battle master, what uh, is that? And I will do a goading attack. Uh, a goat attack? A goat, a goat attack. <laughs> 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 um, so, <laughs> that is a 22 to hit. 22 to hit yes. definitely hits. Okay, so goading attack, whatever this thing is, has to make a uh, wisdom save, 18. <laughs> that is a fail. Fail, so whatever this thing has disadvantage on all attacks against anything but me. You got it. Right now. Uh, should I roll damage on that, or should I go to the next well, sword? No, go ahead and roll damage. Okay, I rolled, uh, that is. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Sixteen plus the plus the superiority die. Oh, brand new character, brand new rules. Sixteen plus. Ooh, that's twenty-four total. Twenty-four, nice. With my Vorpal sword. Ooh. No Vorpal sword. I do. Cool. Hope I get a twenty. Second is uh, not a twenty. It is a. Uh, but it's better than the first roll. Because that I rolled it. So yes, that's all that matters, right? Twenty-eight. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, 16 damage. 16 points of damage, damage. on the second strike. <laughs> you have your third attack, right? Ooh! You have your third attack, so you're, you're a fighter. Of oh, I have three level. now? Yeah. Wow, oh, man. Oh my god. So many classes. What were you doing all this whole time? This is great. Uh, oh, 15 again, so that definitely hits. Yeah, Same roll damage roll. for another Vorpal, 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 Vorpal. Amy Vorpal. Uh, <laughs> that is a uh, 15. 15, so as soon as you see a shape just swing by across the back. You immediately cut through. The figure turns to the side, and you see a humanoid about your size, mm -hmm. uh, wrapped in dark gray and black clothing, face obscured, like fall to the ground and turn back towards you, kind of looking in your direction as part of the goading attack, and is mm -hmm. now kind of focused. You can see the eyes kind of narrowed and angrily in your direction. Give it a couple spins. Correct. Uh, I need you guys to roll initiative. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> now you roll initiative if you wake up. Somebody has to get you up, though. Okay. Ah. Does Trinket roll initiative? Trinket does, yes. Oh, sweet advantage. Mm. Okay. Yeah, great. All right, so 15, or 25 to 20. 20 to 15. 18. 18. 17. Ooh. You're awake? No, I'm so, not. You don't do shit. Wait. You know, you don't roll unless you come to consciousness. Oh, 17. <laughs> you enter the combat stream <laughs> once you're conscious. <laughs> you're awake? What'd you get? Trinkets away. Oh. Okay. Still 17. Did you roll Scanlan and Tyrion? Uh, I both. could, but I don't have the stats for Tyrion, so I'm going to just. Terry passed out. <laughs> he passed he'd be it. drinking. He passed yeah. out from dragon. the speech. All right, so. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the water. Grog and Trinket actually go first. 
so the figure that moved behind is <laughs> there and is currently now <laughs> head up to that side right there. All right, behind so Douglas. top of it, Grog and Trinket, what are you guys doing? Uh, clearly, I would like to rage. Trinket's going to run right. up and attack him from one side. So that Grog can flank him. Yeah. All right. I would like go to. around, you mean? Yeah. Like, jumps over. <gasps> yeah. All right. Yeah, open up that other side for me, please. Flowers everywhere. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, I'd like to make uh, both attacks reckless. Go uh, for it. Yeah. I'll take the first one. No, no great weapon master. Yeah, okay. Uh, that is. Uh, Jesus, that's a lot. I got to remember to do math. Uh, 20, 26. That hits. Great. Uh, first <laughs> one. Jesus. Uh, that's nine, two, plus four, 20, 22 points of slashing damage. Ooh. The figure falls down to one knee and is looking pretty hurt. I will do the second one with Great Weapon Master. Reckless. Same thing. Uh, 23 minus 5, 18. 18 hits, come on. All right. 2, 12, no, 13, plus 4, 17, 27. 27 points of slashing damage. 27 points of slashing damage. <laughs> you go ahead and hack through, the figure falls to the ground, turns to mist. Uh. Uh, 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 Dimitri! Oh, uh, they turned to mist when I hit him! Is there anybody you just completely else? Missed it. That finishes your turn? Oh, uh, yeah. Trinket as well? Is there anybody else to attack? Right now, you don't see the mist is too strong. Actually, I should go ahead and put it on. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I should have had that Trinket's going to hold his attack for anybody that comes near him. He's going to guard his mama. You got it. All right. What? So. If you guys finish your turns, the mist kind of encompassing the space here. Ooh, it's you hear <laughs> there's some movement around, just darting figures. Uh, the one here that was turned to mist just begins to drift off and disappears into the surrounding fog that has encompassed the beachside. So All right, we gotta start waking people up. That brings us to Derek. Uh, Derek will. Um, Derek or Derig? Derig. 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 We'll drop to one knee and shake the voice of the Tempest in an attempt to wake her. All right, go ahead and make a medicine check. Medicine check. Good roll. A 17. A 17. You go ahead and like look down at her, grab some quick herbs that you keep in your pouch just for this sort of occasion, kind of crush them and hold them under her nose, and we'll say he brings you to one hit point. You come to consciousness. <gasps> up, up, we gotta move. Go ahead and roll a uh, uh, your initiative, please. Twelve. Twelve. All right. Okay. Yeah. Does the plate of the dawn armor time. do anything? Are you wearing the plate armor to the? Probably not. Clank, 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 clank. Still available, my man. So no, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> All right, top of the round. Good point, good point. Good point. Grog, trinket. Can we see? He's going to go over yeah. and, and lick Vex's face to try to okay. wake her up. Grog? Can we see anything? Are like, uh, you staying there and looking around? Well, I mean, no, I'll move. Make a perception check if you want to stay there and look. But, but that's my action, right? Yeah. Who the fuck is that shit? No! I'll run over and I'll jump up on that middle table. Over here? Yeah. <laughs> boo boo. You fucks! Not say anything. Uh, you do. You see another figure over here that is just darting through and sees you and <sighs> jumps up to engage. Uh, ravioli! And I'll make two uh, reckless attacks at him. Okay. So yeah, I'll put you there so you're within range there. Yeah. What? Oh, so close to a natural 20, but it was cocked. That's, uh, that's fine. Oh, uh, that's a uh, 34. That hits. <laughs> okay. Uh, no great weapon master on that one, so that is 5, 11. Uh, uh, six, seven, plus four, uh, 20, 20 points of slashing damage. Nice. The second one, great weapon master, reckless. No, that's not bad. Uh, 19, 
Oh, that's going to miss a bit. 14 to hit. 14? Yeah. Misses. Yeah. You go swing, this first strike goes through, and you watch as kind of a dark blood spatters across the, the beachside sand on the ground. The creature looks up at you. Now close up, seeing its eyes burn with a bright red rage. They kind of glow like pinpoints of burning coal. The fuck? And that you swing a second time, and the creature seems like dodge out of the way with an inhuman speed. Yeah, it shook me. All right. All right. Trinket rushes up to find that no, no, no. Vex isn't there. <gasps> and neither is Percy. What? <gasps> They've stolen the bride and groom. <gasps> no. Oh, no. I fucking said it, and then I fucking. Vespa! Trinket goes <laughs> and just starts freaking out in space, unable to see where you went. Oh, oh no! So, for the purposes of this fight, you are both out. I said Dead it at the fucking break, and that I didn't stick to my shit. I got so, distracted by the smoke right. ninjas. With that, <laughs> it comes to oh. their turn. This one leaps up onto the table next to Grog. And I'm getting a pincer. This one moves in here, so they're both flanking you. They're both going to attack you. Oh. Two attacks. Yep. Both with a claws. And they get advantage. They do. Uh, so the first claw attack, you, their fingers have these like claws. Long, yeah. The Red first eyes. One and claws. is uh, 19 to hit. Uh, that's my AC. That hits. All right. So you take. From the claws from the one that's right behind you that just jumped up and just rakes into your back. <laughs> that is, ooh, two fours on 2d4. Uh, eight, 11 points of uh, slashing damage, reduced to five. Right. And you are grappled. Okay. In the other attack, it's going to be. Ooh, nice. 21. Oh, it hits. That hits you. Suddenly, if you hear the claw on your back, grabs you, and then you feel this sharp pain in your neck as the creature bites what into the, the side of your shoulder it's and throat. <gasps> first miniature was a vampire. Right. All right, you take three points of piercing damage, it was six, reduced to three. Okay. And then you also suffer woo, nine points of necrotic damage, and your maximum hit points are reduced by nine. Oh shit, okay. So that's the, the other full nine, and then hit points yep. good, okay. The Thank God for one. those temporary hit points. The other one goes with its claws, first strike, and misses. That's going to be uh, 15. Okay, misses misses, you. Yep. Second claw attack against you, natural 20. That oh. hits. A 10 and natural 20. So you take, oh, that's d4, sorry. Mm. All right. 15 points damage reduced to a seven. seven. So seven okay. points of slashing damage from there. And that finishes their turn. You about out of the one you had now. struck earlier, the one that you struck earlier, you watch the wounds begin to heal up a no. bit. Yeah. All right, brings it to Keyleth and Derek. So you guys have both 12 initiatives. Tempest first. All right. Where's Pike? I can't see her in the fog. Can I, I want to look and see if I can find Pike. Okay, so you stand up? Yep. Right, you get up and place, attack your movement, 15 feet. Uh, Do Pike? we see her over the table there? Uh, I, I do. Can I do some tempest shit as I get up? Tempest shit. <laughs> do a little air tempest gust, shit. or will that burn my entire action? Uh, but as a cantrip, to use the gust cantrip, it's your action to do that. Up to you. Can I see Pike? Right now, oh. you can see about 15 feet. You see Scanlan at your feet. You see Derek in front of you, and you see Trinket behind you. Do not immediately see Pike at a quick glance. Which of those two did you? I don't immediately see. You know where she was sitting, so you could move. You have 15 feet of movement still. I know where she was. You yeah, know, you, you guys are all sitting. You know where the arrangement okay. was. Okay, I'll try and head towards her. Okay. Oh, on top of the table or through them? Uh, whatever's quickest. I can climb on a table. Okay, so you would leap up onto this table, and there you can see Keyleth on the ground, unconscious. Okay, Hi. I'm gonna. Oh, I forgot. Remember, Grog. Fine for now. You're poisoned. All right. So even with reckless, you're drawing random a single attack roll. Copy that. Without reckless, you're at disadvantage. Gotcha. And the same for you, Derek. That's my fault for forgetting that. I'm gonna reach over. We'll say now the poison kicks in even harder, and now you're feeling the detrimental effects of it. So, I'm gonna reach over to Pike and cast Greater Restoration on her, and there. hope that that gets her up. Greater Restoration. Yeah. Okay. As you cast the spell, focus on her body. Uh, you hope that whatever may have been within her body is cleansed. Okay. I think that's all I can do for right now. You have a bonus action still if you want to do that. 
Oh, I'll, I'll bonus action healing word then, because that is a bonus action. That spell. is. Cool. All right, so go ahead and, and I'll use get um, hike up. Old old campaign rules. Old campaign. Ah! Well, no, healing word is a bonus action spell. <laughs> For our healing. One. It's one plus my druid level, right? No, it's 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 one d four plus your wisdom modifier. Oh, plus my wisdom modifier. I know it's been a while. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! You have seven hit points, Pike. There you go. That's our wedding Pike, song. You come to <laughs> it is now. It is now. Pike, you gain some hit points. You come to consciousness in the ground, and um, you uh, need to roll initiative for me. Okay. And Derek, you're okay. up. Ten. Ten, all right. <laughs> well, Brit. All right. <laughs> Your turn, Derek. Okay, I'm going to advance on the being closest to Gro- uh, me that's attacking right. Grog. You rush up, you can just see the figure move out of the shadows. It's about within 15 feet of you, so the fog is completely enclosing your vision. You rush up, blade ready. Yeah, so it gets a spin as I go, and I'm going to attack the bastard three times. First one is an 18 plus 13 hits. Yep. Uh, that is. Uh, ooh, oh, uh, yes. Uh, that is 17. Nice. 17 second points of damage. Second attack. Second attack probably whiffs. That's a 16. 16 hits. Ah, oh, okay. That is a 10 damage. And oh. third one. Dang it. Uh, definitely hits. I rolled a 19. Yeah. And oh, that 20 is so bad. Uh, two plus nine is 11. And 11 points of damage. So as you rush it behind it, it's on the back of Grog, like scratching into it, just finished biting into his throat and pulling back. As soon as it turns around and sees you approach, whack! Three large cuts as it carves through. And it hisses at you. You can see now the fanged teeth within its mouth. Uh, exposed excellent. blood now dripping down the front of its jaw. Grog blood? Grog blood. Does such a thing exist? It does. Uh, I will <laughs> use my, uh, as a shield master, I will use a bonus action to do a shield master shove. To try to knock this asshole prone, so he has to okay. make an athletics contest with me. You got it. All right. Uh, Fifteen. Twenty. Yeah. So I take yes. my shield and I just swing it like a Captain America shield into his shins, to try to knock it out from under him, and then I'm going to back towards uh, the voice of the Tempest and right. guard. You got it. Stand ready. You got it. All right. Cool. So you swing out of the way, Pike. You're up. You're you're conscious. You're on the ground still. <laughs> okay. God, I just drank a little bit too much. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up. Okay. Um. <clears throat> look around. You see Keyleth there, and Keyleth is haggard. You're both at one, hit, or you're at seven hit points. She's at one hit point. You guys are looking real bad. Okay. So um, I'm you hear gonna... combat nearby, like. Some striking blades and some hissing, grog yelling and raging, but you can't quite see where he is at this distance. I'm fucking new. Uh, you bit me. <laughs> okay, so uh, I am going to um, cast mass healing word. Yeah. Okay. Uh, up to six creatures, so anybody I can see. So, including Scanlan on the ground still. Yeah. I mean, everyone else is down. Akima is actually awake, trying to awake oh. Allura, but she's also Allura. like yeah. poisoned as well. Yeah, okay. Allura, Scanlan. Um, For how much? Keyleth. Uh, okay, so. Goodness, it's been a minute. Okay. At what level? Four for each slot above third. Okay, okay, okay. Well, are you casting it? I'm going to cast it at um, 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 fourth level. So. 2d4 plus. Oh, that's a lot of it. The big box of dice. No, Laura's infected the side of the table. Oh, no. <laughs> it's slowly, happening. slowly, slowly yeah. but surely. Centerpiece. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. like it's it. nice. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the bride and groom for their first dance. Dancing to Stained. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alrighty. 17. 17 hit points to, oh, to Pike. 17 hit no, points? No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you roll? Uh, plus your, plus your, plus your spellcasting ability modifier. 
That's you, you oh, cast sorry. with what? Shit. Yeah, you're sorry, I'm sorry. So okay. it's been Five. so long. Okay, so I'm so sorry. It's uh, 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 11. 11. Okay, 11 points to Keyleth. 11 points to Pike. 11 points oh. to Scanlan. And then uh, 11 points to Kima. Kima, Kima Grog, Allura. Grog, and Allura. Wait. No, don't don't hit, don't hit me. Allura. Don't hit me. I'm going to give it to somebody she else. She doesn't know. looks hardy. Choice. Yeah. Yeah. Gilmore's here, right? Gilmore. You don't Gilmore. see Gilmore at the moment. Damn it. Mm. Did I get everybody? Did I get everybody? Sorry, this is kind of. How about yourself? Did you get yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I did. Yeah. 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 All right, so okay. Scanlan, you're up. No. You said you, and Kima gains plus 17. Yikes. Oh, Maddie. No. And uh, <laughs> 11. What's going on? What's what it was? All right, that finishes your turn, Pike. What body is um, this? Okay, I'm going to. Uh, what is your action? action? What You've used half your movement to get up. You have 15 more feet. Oh, well, that's a bonus action. Oh, you still have your action then. So, yes. So, I'm going to. Are there any guys that I can see within range? Actually, you can just see this guy that got knocked down by Derek that is right next to uh, Grog. Yeah. Um, I'm going to guiding bolt him up to butt. Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. Right up to level, butt. Level one, level two. No, Let's no, do. I roll on Let's go level two. All right, it's level two. Go ahead and roll uh, an attack. Because he is prone, you do have disadvantage on the attack roll because he's on the ground and harder to see from a ranged mm. attack. And then so now you add your spell attack bonus. That's right. Oh, uh -huh. I rolled one natural 20, and then I rolled a 17, so 28. Still hits, go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. So that's, wait, what's Guiding Bolt at? Uh, guiding Bolt. Did I say second level? I think yeah. that's five? D6? Mm -hmm. Sorry, on. We're scary, we're scary now, so. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on, let me pull up my. I'm going bolt. It gives you initial d6, so it's 5d6. Yeah, 5d6. Okay. Yo. Okay. Ooh. Yo. Okay, so that's. It's D&D! Okay, so 24 plus. Do you add anything? I'm so sorry. No, it's just 5d6 just radiant. It's 5d6. Okay, 24 points of radiant damage. Nice. She blasts into it. it. You see, like the the divine flames burn across its chest, and it hisses and struggles on the table. It's back against the wood. Uh, it's looking very hurt, and it tries to stand back up. You can see its face like burning into ash from the divine power, and there's a light now around it that makes the next attack against it with advantage. So, oh, yes. do you want to move or stay where you are? No, I'm going to stay where I am. Okay, you got it. Finishing Pike's turn now. Now Kima's turn. Kima sees Alora kind of come to consciousness. She's going to go ahead and pump a shit ton of her lay hands into her. Gonna heal her for 50 hit points. Whoa! Uh, she has that many lay on hands points? That's crazy. High level paladin, man. Yeah. She's just like, Allie, wake up. We need your help. <coughs> There's like coughing from the poison inside. Um, Got to lay your wife. Turns around, goes ahead, and you know, she doesn't have her, her blade at her side. Oh, you know, no. you guys kept your weapons because you're Vox Machina. Um, but she's gonna go ahead and use her movement to then go ahead and rush. Over to where all everyone kind of laid their arms at the side, uh, and it's going to head over to there. Uh, rolling for Allura's initiative. Okay. Where are the bride and groom? Bring us what to the, the top fuck? of the round, Grog and Trinket. Oh yeah, I'll turn around on the fucker that just bit me from behind, and because you got a guide and bolted, I get advantage on that attack, right? You do. Yeah. So you don't have to, you don't have to do reckless on that attack. If you want to do reckless the whole round, you got to still do reckless. Yeah, I'll do reckless anyway because I'm gonna spin it on the other fuck behind me. Jeez. All right. So the guy on the ground, you have a it's a standard roll. Still poison. Wait, yes. Trank, it's gonna run up and attack him from the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way you're flanked. He's flanked. Yeah. There you go. What does that do? There's nothing to him in the circumstance, but Trinket will get bonuses to yeah. attack him. Just Trinket one hit first. Go for it. Yeah. Ow. All right, go for it. Is that a bonus? Advantage with Trinket on Trinket's Arr. attacks. Go for it. Yeah! Ooh, Ooh that's a crit! Shaggy got a crit! Hell yeah! Yeah! yeah. Praise, praise to the bear! Whoa, whoa! He's so. pissed his mom was gone. Oh my god, wait, so that was, I said he was biting him, right? Yep. So that's 2d6! What? <laughs> 6, 12, plus 4, 
is 16. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, five damage. So All right, so Trinket sinks his teeth into this into this this, this entity, right. tears into it. The um the the light itself like blasting forth from the guiding bolt. It burns away. The creature is looking like it's in a bad bad place. Trinket, you think anything on attack or? So he gets two attacks. I don't know. Multi attack. He gets two attacks. And now he's gonna claw him at the same time. Does he? He only doesn't get advantage on this one though. It's flanked. Yeah, well, it's prone, so yeah, it gets advantage. It's flanked and prone. Natural twenty. This, this bear is not happy that it can't find its master. He is not good. That's eight points of bear. <laughs> How does he want to do this? Vampire yeah! <laughs> trinket. Yeah! This is like the second time that yes! the pig has taken out an undead of this caliber. To him, and then while he's biting his face, he's going to claw his body and rip him in half. All right, the body kind of tears into two pieces and bumps to the ground and turns into mist, and this kind of goes off into the rest of the fog around. Done, Trink. I'll turn. I'll just uh, reckless on the guy in front of me then. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's just a straight roll. So. Um, the 24 to hit. 24 to hit hits? And that is uh, 7, 11, uh, 18, 19, 22 points of slashing damage. 22 points of slashing damage <laughs> through the axe. Second one straight roll. 12, 15, uh, 27. 27. 27 hits. And 8, 13. Uh, 23 points of slashing damage. 23 points of slashing damage. <laughs> the second axe jams into the creature's chest and it's like <laughs> dug into the sternum. Oh, <laughs> Shoves it out of the chest. You kind of catch it backward and you see the blood kind of pouring out of its wound. Oh. And it, <laughs> it's, Shit. it's looking angry. Okay. But it's looking hurt. Yeah, cool. Is that your turn? Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, now, brings it to its turn. It's going to go ahead and uh, let's see. It's going to attempt to claw you. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a nineteen to hit. Yeah, hit. All right, you do suffer. That is oh, shitty roll. Uh, five points of piercing damage reduced to two. Okay. Uh-oh. What? Uh oh. Uh, and you are grappled, and it's going to attempt to bite you. Grapple. No. no funeral. Can that happen? Ooh, 24 to hit. That hits. You take eight points of pierce damage, reduced to four. Okay. And you suffer seven points of necrotic damage, and your maximum hit points are reduced by seven. Copy that. And it's going to then ahead, go ahead and attempt to run off into the mist. No, you don't. You can attack opportunity on it. I do. Uh, but not reckless, right? It's a straight roll? Correct, because you weren't reckless. Reckless is only on your turn anyway. Right, so, so disadvantage? Disadvantage. Okay. Uh, 18, uh, 6, 15, uh, 21. 21 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Dope. He doesn't have oh, Sentinel, unfortunately. 11, uh, 16, oh, 20 <laughs> points of slapping, slashing damage, and he oh, bites does. stick right there. Doesn't matter. How do you want to do this? Yes. He bites me in the neck, and I say, people pay for that, and I cut him open. <laughs> <laughs> Just tears asunder. Both halves kind of into the ground, and in the mist. No one ruins my friend's weddings. <laughs> All right. Friends? You kind of take a moment and listen, the rest of you standing up, coming to consciousness. Is that it? Is looking that around, it? you don't see any other shapes moving. The fog still stands. What happened? No. What was Wait, that? No. Is this fog, do I look up, is it cloudy as well, or is yes. it a low-lying fog? It's, a, it's, it's an entire marine layer has come in over the past hour or so, and now a big heavy fog has come in over the ocean that has blanketed the scene. We're, we're extremely pissed off with Keyleth rage that she tries to keep contained. I slam and I kind of storm levitate up in the air and get rid of the marine layer and clear it out. Okay, with control weather. Control weather. You watch as Keyleth kind of rises up off the ground. The hair kind of, kind of floating, Ocean. not not held by gravity as the wind whips around her. The chairs kind of like fall over each other, kind of pull into a small, uh, like localized tornado beneath her. As she raises her hands in the air, you watch as the mist suddenly vanishes from around and begins to push it away. The marine layer begins to pull back 
Any I mean, ships? I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, water? I'm looking, in, let me look at, at the specifics it. here. Wait, it's gone. Well, How did you do it? I'm mm-hmm. clearing it, and I think control weather stretches a mile. It takes ten minutes Great. to cast, though. Okay, well, I start clearing it out. So she starts casting, and it lasts, yeah, and it's, it's a five mile radius. Whoa! So, so as Keel is up there, slowly concentrating, you watch the marine layer begins to just blow back, the fog begins to dissipate, and the entirety of the vicinity of Shamal Bay begins to just be cleared of this thick fog that had rolled in. And while she's doing this, what are the rest of you doing? Are there any I'm ships just... in the water? Uh, there, there aren't any ships nearby. Yeah, okay, there are ships over in the bay. You guys, you guys, Dawn's Closet is not right next to the bay. It's probably about, uh, I'd say, a mile and a half, two miles, if not further, from the very, very edge of Shamal Bay specifically. So it's just beachside at this point. There's no docks or anywhere for a ship to even come close to the beach, and you don't see anything that's moored or anchored off of the shore. Derek is letting the legendary Vox Machina solve this mystery and is just circling Keyleth, looking for threats. Yeah. Hey! Hey, legendary Vox Machina, where are the bride and groom? What do you mean? They're gone. They're gone. They were at the head table there, the table number one, can the we, one that I should have been can at. Can we head wasn't. over and see where they where they fell? Are there any footprints? Plints? Oh no! Leading in the direction. Wait, wait. We need Vex as our tracker. We don't have. Mask your wounds. Thank you. D- Derek, do you yeah. track? Are you a tracker? Can you track? I can cut things open. You can't track. Keyleth, you're naturey. Can you track? She's in the process of casting. No! Oh, shit. She's fucking going Jean Grey over there. Let's just relax <laughs> a second. 20, 20, 20 points of healing. Nice to who, everybody? Can you, track, can you track Pike? Do you have tracky abilities? Uh, no. No. Derek, it's up to you, man. I'll start uh, scanning the sand and seeing if I can okay. spot any kinds Let of tracks. Let me inspire you. Crime All right, go for it. Wait, I'll inspire you with the song that I wrote for you that I was going to sing later, but now I'm going to sing it to you now. <clears throat> Derek the Brave is married to his wife. He's always tired from his four tykes. He has tattoos and he owns a sword. That's all I know and nothing more. <laughs> the boring ballad, the boring ballad, <laughs> the boring ballad of Derek. <laughs> There's a second verse if you need it, but. Lay it on me. He I calls, start scanning the sand. <laughs> he calls our friend the Tempest or Chief. His sword goes into a back sheath. Oh, Jesus. He's still punching. Somebody punch him. He can make three attacks and never four. That's all I know of him, nothing more. The boring ballad. The boring ballad. The boring ballad of Derek. Uh, what, what, I just rolled a natural 20 on my back style. Yeah! Really? Yes. yes All right, so th- this is your survival check. Yes. Do you want to add a, his inspiration yeah. to it, or do you sure. want to? Sure, yes. What do I get 12. to add to my natural 20? Add a d12 20? to it. Absolutely. Which one is it? It's that big round one. Nine oh, to the 20. 29 on a natural 20. And you don't have any bonuses to survival? Oh, I'm sure I do. Oh, what's Seven, so oh, 36. Yes. Seven? Thirty-six. Oh, so, <laughs> as he's singing the song, and the, and the mist begins to dissipate from Keyleth's like slow storm wave that's pushing it away, you glance down and can see there's all sorts of footfalls from the people that were arriving to the event, to the members of the wedding party, to the folks that were pouring the drinks. But you begin to see heavy footprints that are kind of dragging a bit and heading in a kind of to the right along the beach in that direction. That like, seemed to be fairly recent. Like towards the stage? Uh, like, or the like, other way? like towards that and yeah. further. So as he's scanning the sand, just muttering to himself, he's like, I cannot wait to tell my kids about this song. <laughs> they went this way! <laughs> I start running. Yeah, same. Do we need to heal the rest of the wedding party, or, or can Kima and Allura take care of that? Yeah, leave it with Kima. Kima and Allura. Okay. Okay, they begin to slowly awaken the rest of the wedding party. Uh, Laura's like, go ahead, we'll catch up as soon as we can, but we have to make sure everyone here's okay. And Kima's going on, like, like doing a little one, one, one hit point lay hands on each person, like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> um, I'll shout up to Keyleth, like, Keyleth! Yes, Grog? We got tracks this way! Okay, I'll kind of float as I go. <laughs> 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 Looking good. Looking All right. Good. Can I do it? 
sure, why not? Flavor. Can we yeah. I'm a little like a Macy's balloon. <laughs> yeah, just, I'm a little yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's Inception. <laughs> just perfect. I'll pick up Mike cool. and we start running. All right, you guys all start bolting down that side of the beach as the fog clears yeah, and pushes yeah. away. Um, as the fog pushes away from Keyleth's spell, you can see too. Uh, a, a fair jog up the beach begins to lift into what looks to be a beachside cliff. There's a precipice that kind of curves up, and there is a heavy cliff that comes to a sheer drop into the ocean. You guys heading that direction. In the meantime, <gasps> Percival and Vex. Oh, fuck. B story, B story. <laughs> you both slowly come to consciousness, kind of sh shaking your head. You hear. <sighs> Like the crashing of waves. Mm. You both are kind of on the ground, lying on your side, and you hear the crashing of waves. Are we? Are our hands free? They are not. <laughs> your hands are bound behind your back and bound to your ankles. There are shackles on your wrists and your ankles, and you are held there. Supposed to be the wedding night. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as you say Percival, two figures step over and grab both of you by the back of your outfits and lift you onto your knees. And you can now, like, glancing over your shoulder, see you're about five feet from the edge of the cliff that drops a few hundred feet into the ocean below. You see the, the where the cliff descends, uh, kind of, or the cliffs behind you, the rocky area slowly. You know, Heads into a grade that goes toward the rest of Marquette. You can see the Agrad Mountains in the distance, uh, with what little bit of, of moonlight has made its way through the sky now that it's cleared from the marine layer. And you see a shattered figure approaching, stepping. Where's Vespa? Where's everybody? The figure approaches, long, heavy cloak, kind of billowing gently in the wind. You see a dark beard, kind of kept to a manicured point. Longish hair, slicked back, pale skin, and very intense eyes. You see standing before you, Lord Silas Briar. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What do you mean? He's for sure dead. What do you mean? That's super dead. No, he got away. He got away. He got away. I, he got what? away? He did. Yeah, he thought did. I sunbeamed him and in the face. You know his wife got the shit out of him. Yeah, 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 he turned to mist and escaped. You couldn't follow him because you were focused on other things affecting him. This is true. Yeah. Man. He got away? His brother broke the world oh, for I you. I thought I had a tree growing out of him. No? Damn it. Wait. Uh, okay, later. <laughs> oh, this is an unexpected surprise. I, I. Long have I waited. Learning. Reading. Listening. Suffering. By the grace of ancient shadows stirred. By a love unending, my soul was scattered beyond life and brought back twice now. All to be with my beloved Delilah. Twice she sacrificed everything for me. Everything. And twice you have torn her away from me. Left without hope. Agony unending for this eternal life. Unlife. I'm cursed now without my partner. The paltry affections you will hold for each other mean nothing by comparison to what we had. Though amusing it is to see you go through the motions. You do not, cannot understand what true, timeless love is. could never discover the joy that you've robbed of us. For this timeless torture you've banished my soul to, 
I bring judgment to you both. The first of many vengeances to be brought down upon your loved ones. He reaches forth and grabs the black chain Wait. on the back of each of you. It has nothing to do with anyone else. This is about us. You're right. Each of you have killed my Delilah. To be fair, she kind of deserved it. I mean, to us, she was terrible. She starts dragging you both towards the cliff edge. Your, both, your knees are dragging across the rock and dirt. Percival? Honestly, Silas, is this your plan? Is this what you're planning to do with us, just toss us off a cliff? Poetic. I used to fear you. Know that when I die, you will bore me. He leans in real close to your face. You can smell the rot and ash on his breath as his nose touches the tip of yours, his eyes burning with eternal hatred. I'm sorry it took this long to finish the last of the Dorolos, but it'll be nice to not worry about an incomplete position. I'd lean forward and headbutt him. Make an attack roll. Oh! Oh! No. That's a <laughs> Don't know that! Don't know that! Oh. <laughs> so as he as he begins to like flex to drag Percival forward, you kind of lean forward and crack, just whack him right straight in the head. Uh, what's your strength modifier? <laughs> nothing. It's a negative. It's nothing. You do. I'll give you two points of damage. Oh, you. thanks. <laughs> For the crit. So crack is it. Ah! <laughs> it's almost sad it's over. I've been thinking about this moment for so long. I planned so many elaborate ways to torture you and tear you apart. And Tell us about them. <laughs> I've come to enjoy the simplicity of things. And oh throws god. you both from the cliff. Oh god. Oh jeebies. You both impact the water. <laughs> the ocean is now around you. The cold water completely engulfs both of you. You begin to sink. Oh god. Below the heavy chain, it's dragging you below. What are you both doing? Uh, our hands are like behind us. Mm-hmm. Medical to ropes. You did say chains. Black chains. Chains. Do I have access to, to any of my stuff? Am I wearing any of my stuff? Whatever you brought to the reception, which would be a minimal amount. Would of be anything. a minimal amount, but I would probably have the diplomacy glove. Uh, maybe. Uh, roll a. It is formal. Roll a perception check for me. Right. I'm sorry. Uh, roll, roll, just roll, roll a d20 for me. Roll a d20. The invitation did I say. My, I was trying to think what the casual would be. 11. Okay. The invitation 11. said. I'm going to say you do not bring diplomacy with you. Yeah. Can I cast Conjure Woodland Beings? Yeah, because your fingers are still available too. Yeah. Um, All right. All right, don't have that. <laughs> uh, what's something that fucking swims? Can I drown some squirrels? <laughs> don't. An otter? Are they not a woodland being? Uh, I mean, like, what's a woodland being? I don't have. Uh, it's just, it's it's beasts. It's so. beasts. So can I conjure? You summon fake creatures. Some beavers into your yeah, space. So they're 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 fake, fake they're fake creatures specifically. Fake creatures. That's Mermaids. Ooh, Are they fake? fake? Are you fake? Oh you fake? Do you fake? Do you, you even fake? Do you have a fake? You have a fake? <laughs> Oh boy. That's so fair. Mermaids? Yes, oh my god. Yes! Alright. <laughs> folk are not, they're humanoid. What are fae? What's a fae? Let's get a list of fae. What's fay? a fae? Uh, well, a list of fae. If you go to D&D Beyond, you get fine. While, 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 while you're considering what to I'm, create. I'm going to try, I would assume I'm at least wearing my formal So, sword. as a note, you, you guys 
are currently, you're not drowning yet. Mm. You can both hold your breath for different amounts. Vex, you have one minute of breath because your constitution modifier is zero. Because I suck? You can hold your breath for three minutes, Percival. I'm going to try and start using Mar- my belt Marid. to to break, to see if I can twist and break off the shackles at the very least, or at least break them open so that I can Marid. have like some movement of, of uh, um, some, some What are you trying to break them with? Uh, my sword on my belt, like just kind of twist it around. Oh, it. oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead and make a strength check for me. That's a terrible thing to make. This is a strength yeah. check specifically to try and break it, break That's a fine. heavy That's metal I'm shackle against a blade. Trying to do what I can. I know. Uh, strength check. Yes. Fourteen. Fourteen. Not getting any sort of movement from the chain against the blade. You're trying to saw, trying to pull against it, just pulling the bubbles escaping from your mouth, and you can see Vex's face looking uh, extremely paranoid and freaked out wide against the water as the light begins to get darker and darker, the moonlight itself begins vanishing as you guys sink further and further beneath the surface. Um, Vex. I'm summoning an arid. An arid? A narid. Narid? Narid? It's an aquatic Marine. bay related to the Tritons. Newid, sure. Shawad, keep us together. Let me pull this up here. How do you spell it, babe? N E R E I D. Yeah, that thing that you definitely know about. Yeah. D D Beyond, be my friend. D D D D Beyond, D D D Beyond. Don't you tweet from my phone. Don't you tweet from my phone. I'm not. So yeah, Nerid, Liam's right N A R I D, you said? Oh, N E R N E I D. E R I E D, got you. Fuck, so far. I can't get to it. Yeah, it's not working. I'll show you. Are you asking me? Oh, it yes. says you failed it. It's not showing up on D and Dibidond. <laughs> so. You tried so hard. I tried. <laughs> I'm the worst. Oh, N E R got you. This is a. You can do an area aquatic. Okay, yeah, no, I see it here. Nerid, sure. It's a medium fey. It is an aquatic creature with a drowning kiss. Sure. How about that work? Can they can they grab us and pull us to shore? Or to the surface? At least to the surface. Okay. You. uh, I will say, go ahead and make a dexterity check for me to be able to try and cast the spell while. Within the shackles. Eleven. How about you sip that wine again and then tell us? <laughs> yeah, no, that was amazing. That was so much. That was so extra. Oh no. <laughs> Due to the way your hands are bound, oh. you're unable to get the full somatic components of the spell, and that first casting fails. Oh. You can try again if you'd like. But it comes next round. How do we have another fourth level? Oh no. Percival. So we're just going straight down right now. Yep. You're, still You're slowly sinking? sinking from the chains. How far down does it go? Can I even you see? You have no idea. It's just darkness below you. There's just an abyss awaiting you, and you can see bits of jagged rock below. I They're like from the edge of the cliff. I'm trying to figure out. I know, I'm trying to think what I have access to, since I can't really move my hands and I don't really have much magic. Oh. Nothing else, there's nothing else in the mm. vicinity, no rocks, no anything. Uh, I mean, you, there, there is edge, the edge of the cliff itself has like some jagged rocks and barnacles and stuff. That's I'm about going to twenty feet away from you. I'm going to try and start pushing us both towards the rocks. Okay. Okay. Make How? an athletics check for me. Your feet are free. No, I'm just. Doing There's the thing. no way we he's, can swim if we're dolphining. Our, he's dolphining. Yeah. Our dolphining. Our arms and legs you can, are. You can do this. Athletics. Thrust. Athletics check. Jelly, jellyfish. Don't be a naysayer. Twelve. Twelve. You manage to swim over towards it. You get most of the way. I'm definitely activating my boots of spider climb too. Just, just it's, if they get purchase on anything, I'm gonna okay. have them. Sleep. You're not quite there yet. No, you're making your way. Making my way to the shore. All right. Uh, how are you pulling her with you? Are you trying to grab her chain? I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to like, yeah, just like grab and, and push. So, and yeah. Okay, so you're pulling her along with you. Uh, roll once more with disadvantage. Okay. Because the, this is hard to try and get both of you with this. I don't have my broom on uh, me. Terrible. Like Three. Three. Yeah. You're kicking and oh, yeah. starting to spin. Okay. You're not getting any sort of oh, movement right. under the water. It's it, it's you're unable to pull both of you towards the edge of the cliff. Can I spin around? Vex, what are you Does doing? Percy have any kind of? He has pins on him. He has a pin on him. It's the arrow that I gave him. It's an arrow pin that I told him to wear. It's made of pins. 
Yes. You can try and cast it. Later. He is wearing an arrow pin. I'll, yeah. I'll allow it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna. Like, there's no way I'm gonna try to spin and grab his arrow pin while my hands are fucking tied behind my back. Okay. I'll say go ahead and make an acrobatics check to try and squeeze around in the water to arrange yourself against him in this difficult circumstance to be able to grab it. Uh, that would be a 25. 25. You throw up a leg over the shoulder and then kind of the leg around him. 35, sorry. 35. Whoa. Pull closely with your hands behind you, reach around his chest, his lapel, and manage to find it with your hand. You haven't pulled it free yet, but you have your hand on the pin. I will try to pull it free. All right. It comes out easy. And I'm going to try to use the pin <laughs> to pick the lock on my so manacles. Okay. Um, Percival, what are you doing? Uh, I see what's happening, and I'm going to assist. How are we going? Okay. Help me, help me, darling. Help, help me. Yes. So I'm going to uh, now. That I now that I see what she's trying to grab. I'm trying to steady myself and like and like make it everything as easy as possible. Okay. For yeah, her. She pulls the pin free. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Go ahead and. <laughs> Attempt Just a, like my brother taught me. Attempt to pick a lock. Mm. Your 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 lungs are on fire now. Mm-hmm. The air is trying to escape from you, and you only have two more rounds before oh. you begin to officially drown. Okay. So go ahead and roll with disadvantage. For disadvantage. Disadvantage. This is going to be dex bonus plus your proficiency bonus, because you're proficient with lock picks, correct? Yes, I am. But this is not telling you not lock picks. This is Wait. a this is a pin. I will yeah. say you're not proficient with this because it's in lock picks. So okay. it's just just roll d twenty with disadvantage. Add your dex bonus. Ooh, that's oh, rough, man, run, rough ruling. Ooh, ten. Ten. Trying to trying to work at it. It's. I mean, it's in there. It's not broken. You you tend it and break it. It's just not quite making its way through. Plus proficiency, deck yeah, plus proficiency. No, you're, not, no you're not proficient with lapel. Not proficiency, this just isn't your deck, actual, sorry. This isn't your actual. Sorry, yeah, no, it's I know, fine. I know. Percival, what are you doing? <sighs> I'm not helpful in this situation. I'm going to keep trying to go towards the towards the cliff and get some footing. Make another athletics check. Okay. He does right. speak celestial, though, guys. Are you pulling like yourself it? and Vex, or just no, you? No, just myself. Just so no, no disadvantage on this. He's abandoning me. Uh, it doesn't matter, because I rolled an eight. Oh, Eight. You, you push about athletics. about five to ten more feet. You still have another like 10, 15 feet before you can reach the cliff How edge. How far away are we? Uh, yeah, like where are we down at? the shoreline. Uh, you took ten minutes to cast that spell to clear everything. <laughs> so I'm just floating as I go. I know. You guys, you guys are on your way. You're on your way. Vex. I'm gonna try again. All right. Go ahead and roll again. Disadvantage. Add your dexterity check. Come on. Oh boy. Are we anywhere close to the bottom yet? You don't see it yet. Oh boy. You're not like super quickly sinking, you're just. Okay, 15. 15. It's, you're finding tumblers. It's making its way in there, but it's it's not high enough to fully unlock it. This is this is intended to be a difficult lock to pick. It's Houdini ship. Mm. Yeah. So, next round, you begin to drown. First of all, what are you doing? You push into the wall again? Um, have I hit the wall? You have to, no, you have to roll another athletics check, man. Spells? Jesus. You guys are bound to your mean, legs and feet. You're having to like kick and swim without able to actually fully extend your legs. Yeah. This is a, this is a bad no scenario. I have help. All my spells are arrow-based. I can you hunter's can, mark something. Sure, okay. Anything else? Get creative. Dude, <laughs> if I told you what I have, you would understand that nothing makes sense. Don't you have a breathe underwater spell? <laughs> All right. God damn it! Come on, please, please, please. One fourth spell. Huh, twenty. A twenty. You manage to kick enough and maneuver your way back and kind of sort of reverse worm your way through the water, kicking your feet forward until you impact the the side of the cliff as you're falling down. It kind of hooks. You're no longer sinking. You actually catch part of your your shackles on one of these kind of jagged pieces of of heavy rock that sits along the base of the cliff. Uh, my boots should be activated, so I should be able to actually steady myself on on that is correct. rocks. You get your feet up under the rocks. You're kind of in a squatting position, but you're currently affixed to the side sure. of the cliff. Sure, okay, and now, okay, I can see where Me she's working. about 25 Slowly. feet away from you in the water, sinking. Okay, god fucking damn it. When I start drowning, am I able to do anything else, or am I just going to die at that point? At the start of your next turn, as soon as you start drowning, you drop to zero hit points. Oh, wow. That's how drowning works. Okay. Nope. Rough time. Yep. So, the yeah. wedding. Go ahead and it's your turn. You're going to continue to try and 
I mean, yeah. All right, go ahead and roll. Oh, and you get turn. one more roll? I guess so. This is her last turn before she loses her air. That would be a 12. A 12. It's not, it's not meeting the lock. You expel the last bit of air from your lungs, and the water begins to rush in, and you begin kicking as you begin to drown. I can't kick. My legs are fucking tied together. <laughs> Percival, you watch as you're like up on the edge there, your feet are fixed. You look down and see uh, Vexalia there release the last bit of air from her lungs and begin to shake underwater. How far away am I from the surface? Uh, right now, you guys are about 30 feet below. So. And I'm bound. <laughs> you are bound. So yes. my movement it sucks. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and. Oh, fuck. I'm going to try and. Um... I can't even push off. I don't have enough fucking foot room. God damn it. Um, God damn it. Get up and out. Yeah, I'm just going to head. I'm going to head up as fast as possible. Okay. So you, so you can move 10 feet around. Is that including an action? Uh, that that, that, that's, your, that's your movement. So be 10 feet up, 10 feet with your action. So you, uh, can, you can get. So I'm going to burn a. Uh, I'm going to burn a. Uh, a. A. Um, um, a. a uh, what do I have? I have things. I'm trying to remember what they are because I'm having a mild panic attack. Um, yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to burn a, uh, a second wind. Okay, that'll get you 30 feet. You'll get to the surface. So you like quickly hobble up the side, running with your little bit of movement you have in your ankles before. You and now I'm just going to scream bloody murder. Okay. Uh, I would like the rest of you to go ahead and roll perception checks. Oh, Ooh. fucking come on, you guys. Nope. 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 Not great. Mm. Awesome. 22. 23. 7. 3. 22. Oh. All right. The three of you, as you're rushing towards the cliffside, hear the faint sound of a scream echo across the rocks. You're screaming. Yeah, me too. Please and you me. recognize it to be Percival's scream. It sounds like it's coming from the water. Yeah, run. We run. Okay. You guys run towards the water. It's you're 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 just coming up along the outside of the cliff. You the, the you're probably about two minutes from the cliff top. Oof. So either you can head towards the edge of the cliff up top or head off to the side towards the water. But you guys Have I finish casting the spell or is it still going? What do you mean the clear the Oh, Control no. weather. Time. Is that done? Yeah. Oh yeah, that would. I'll head towards the edge of the cliff. Okay. I'll head towards. I'll head towards the water. Are you okay. fan out? The bottom part. Yeah. Fan out. Yeah. Fan are we out. are we up on a ledge? You got you guys were climbing up towards like like, like like heading heading along the edge of the water. It rises up. It's no longer the beach, but it's now a rocky cliff face that curves up towards where the edge of this cliff precipice is. You guys hear the scream from the actual base of the cliff over here kind of echo across the seaside yeah. uh, edge. So either you can head into the water around the cliff or up to the very top of the cliff, I'm or you guys can do both. What do I'm going to keep yelling anyway, so. Cliff top for me. Water. Water for, for me, me as well. I'll go water now. I'm an excellent swimmer, I'll go water. All right. So as part of that, you guys jump so it's Pike and who else in the water? I'll go, right. I'll go in the water as well. All right, so it's you four in the water, and it's just Grog. Keel at the top. Grog, oh, you're going in the, wa in the water. Okay, I'm going on the cliff edge. And minutes of held breath is Arcan modifier? Your con modifier is how many minutes you can hold your breath, yes. Is that what's listed under saving throws, or just what's your modifier. The modifier? Correct. So you're screaming and yelling up there. Yep. Right, in the noise. Vexen, you should make a death saving throw for me, please. Death saving throw? Come on. The last bit of oh, air. 19. 19. That's a success. I'm going to go water elemental. All right. Water Same elemental. Right. You into water elemental and, and coast I'm right into the waves. Pulling ass in the direction that I heard. Percy. Heard the scream? Mm -hmm. What's the speed of that water elemental? Uh -oh, come on, pull it's it a up. bonus action to transform. That's both your wild Super shapes. Uh huh, uh huh. I'm going to polymorph into, into a dolphin. Okay. Oh, 
has a 90 foot swim speed. So double feet. movement, that's 120 feet 120 per round. Oh uh, no. 90, 90 speed. Sorry, 180. 90, 180. 180. 180. 180. Damn, I mean, that's yes. fast. Elfin can it's only swim there. 50 feet. <laughs> so you're keeping along, but Keyleth is just rocketing as an elemental. Okay. So as you're shooting forward, uh, making your way towards that cliff, you, got, you guys, <laughs> Pike, you're trying to, to swim along. You're in the water with, with Durig. Yeah. You watch Scanlan turn into a dolphin and poof, disappear into the water. Keela turns into water mental, sh- vanishes, and they both scoot off. You and Durig are both now in the water trying to swim. Okay. Just trying to swim towards Percy because that's all, all we can And I'm running can straight up above the, cri- the right. triple dash, Running. looking over the edge. All right. Make another death saving throw for me. Oh! Son of a bitch. Uh-huh. Son Come on, of a bitch. Just roll high. That's all you got to do is roll high. No. Why didn't you do it? It's a failure. Uh, how does this. Okay. All right, Percival, still yelling. Do I see people coming? Uh, make a make a perception check. I feel like my, regardless of success or failures, my lungs are filling with <clears throat> water. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you if you roll three successes, we're going to keep rolling. This is to see how long you last underwater. Okay. Oh you don't stabilize underwater while you're drowning. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, perception check. Wow, I'm not okay. Here we go. Uh, twenty three. <laughs> wow, nice. I'm going to say it's hard to step away from Caduceus. But you glance over and you can just see out of the corner of your eye in the fair distance a couple of figures in the water. You watch as two of the figures, you see four figures in the water and two of them kind of vanish beneath the waves. And you can see kind of these two bowing, kind of uh, shifting bulges in the water as, as two things mm-hmm. are currently torpedoing through them in your direction. They're still a ways away though, but traveling quickly. Oh man, what do I even have? Um, you are dying, I'll remind you. I got like fucking <laughs> nothing, <laughs> man. Uh, <laughs> it's embarrassing what I have. Um, I can't die, I have shifting bulges coming to save me. <laughs> uh, we all deal with death in different ways. <laughs> I guess I'm, God, I don't even have a lockpick. I have nothing to get these things off with. Um. Fuck, I'm gonna just have for some creative thinking. Yeah, I guess. yeah. Um, try strength. Yeah, I have lots of that. Just try. Yeah, we're both um, the weakest motherfuckers. I'm going to try and find some kind of rock to twist these things off of. I'm just gonna try one more time to just. Are you just trying to get... break the chains? Um, what, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to break the lock. Okay. I'm just straight up break the lock. Make another strength check. God damn it. This is a this is a brute force against the lock. It's gonna be strength. Seventeen. Seventeen. You smash it as hard as you can against the rock. The rock splinters and breaks. Um, feels like a decent hit, but it still holds. Oh my god, mother! Both of do I have anything left that I can make do? another death saving throw for you guys? Motherfucker! Come on, come on. Eight. It's a failure. Motherfucking! You're both rushing over. <laughs> Echo locating. Huh? Echo locating. Making your way as fast as you can in that direction. Anyway. Bonus action dash. Oh my can god, what if I can don't you, can what you, if I die? You can't, you can't bonus action. I think we dash. get all of our gifts back. Okay. Like that, that's a that's a rogue and a monk wow. thing. I don't think okay. I don't think you can do that as a water element for. No, I just want to use everything I have to get there. I am in a wedding dress. Don't kill me when I'm in a wedding dress. I'm not in your wedding dress. Anymore. I am so you are, I know. I'm still trucking up the cliff's edge. Is there anything up as I'm you're, running? You're up? running quickly, and you can see there are shapes up at the top of the cliff's edge that are like looking over the cliff at the moment. The, the shouting seems to have gotten their attention. Um, can I see what you're, they you're are? You're not there yet. Okay. You're, you're, you're still quite a distance. They're just humanoid figures? Yeah. yeah that's right. All right. Keyleth, uh, Scanlan, you guys are Darkvision rushing quickly. It's, it's, it's dark vision, but it's underwater. They're quite a distance away. You can just barely see Percy, like perched on the edge of the cliff, shouting and trying to break his lock against the stone. I Pike, have blind you're, sight. You're, you're ways behind. Am Correct, I getting close to, to Percy? Feet. Right, they're further than that from me. Okay. Am I getting? I'm trying to go towards Percy. You are. So you're, you're. You are. You're making your way, like swimming as you can, uh, as a gnome. Not huge arms, unfortunately, but you're moving at half your movement speed in that Strong. direction, and both of them are just cruising through. So you're kind of like, so you're trying to swim behind a motorboat. Question. Okay. And and Derek, who is a fucking athlete, jumped in and watched Keyleth and Scanlan just go <laughs> away. Yeah. 
Um, he has a ring of free movement. Does that have any effect on water? Am I going normal? It does. Speed? You, you're going normal speed through the water. So, okay. Not so, as fast as them. No, but, but you're still moving fast. Good. Michael Phelps. Okay. So yeah. you are, Pike, unfortunately, being kind of left in the. Uh, yeah. In the sense of it here. Okay. All right. So you continue chasing after them. Ride. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know what else to you do. You guys are getting close, but you're not. I know. Still not it. I know. No, no. You're you're going to be there first, definitely. Um, vaccine, you roll another death saving throw, please. I am about to go. Guys, I am about to go ham. Oh god. Oh god. You made a deal. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I don't like it. That's a one. Oh my god. Boku. The last bit of consciousness slips from Vex, the bride to be, as the abyss below slowly takes her. Keyleth, you yeah. rush up the next round and arrive as a water elemental in that space, and you can see her body just drift below the ocean, the eyes glazed over, unmoving. I scoop up underneath of her and grab her. And then Percy seems okay. Can I see him, Percy? Mm -hmm. He's alive. And I'm going to immediately double back and get her back to Pike A snaps. Okay. <laughs> so the water mental is now motorboating <laughs> opposite direction. Just a big blobby water and then reverse. You got it. Uh, a few moments pass. Pike, as you're trying to keep up, uh, he watches the uh, as as your new half elf friend there kind of looks and spins as one heavy, moving, shifting burst of water just cruises up your direction before splashing you in the face, and you see a large water elemental keyleth kind of emerge from the ocean, holding the unmoving body of them. Like a rolling wave onto the beach, I just come up out of the water and drop them both onto the beach. So you move past Pike then? So Pike, I grab Pike, oh, you grab Pike as and bring her with well you? Okay. and crash so onto the beach with them. So you all get thrown out onto the sand, and there you see Vex come onto the... Is she okay? Is she okay? And then I drop form. I think she's dead. You have to do something immediately. <sighs> Okay, uh, uh, I reach out, I put my hands out, and I cast True Resurrection. True Resurrection. Just straight up? Straight up. Has it been under a minute? Yeah. It's been under a minute. What do I, I mean, True Resurrection, what do I do? Resurrection does cost at least 25,000 gold oh, no, worth of diamonds to do. Oh, wait, 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 because we're under a minute. But I thought these mean Shit, sorry, this has been a while. No, it's been a while. It's okay. Oh, oh, it's okay. Oh, revivify one more. Yeah, revivify. 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 Jesus Christ. Revivify. Uh, it requires diamonds worth 300 gold to cast. Do you have diamonds on you? Are you wearing any jewelry? Are you wearing any jewelry? Are you wearing any jewelry for the event? Yes, the yes, all of the jewels. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, Vex has got to be wearing I mean, some bling. I'm She's I am going to take her. I'm gonna, I already I'm used my ring on fuck. for the search for Bob, but uh, and we haven't replaced them yet. We were going to do it tomorrow, dear. Shit. I've got some earrings on. Okay. I don't know how if they're worth that much. Go I mean, ahead, uh, go ahead, Pike, and uh, roll two d six for me. Oh boy. I'm sorry, two d four. Two d four. Oh boy. Oh god. Six. Six. All right. The earrings that Vex has on are worth approximately 600 gold oh. worth of diamonds. Oh, shit. Okay, great. <laughs> Pump those great. fucking earrings into Just her body. <laughs> okay. Do it now. Shove it. 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 As, like, as part of our resurrection <laughs> ritual oh, elements, I there. I got a healer. Wait, wait, wait. DM, <laughs> DM, 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 DM. So the revivify has an element here where, when it brings you back, I roll just in general to see if through the previous resurrections you've had to see what the, what the different DC is. Oh fuck me! And that is uh, a natural thirteen. You've died twice, correct? At least. <laughs> <laughs> Raven's Queen armor and yeah, Raven Queen's armor. 
What was the other one? Briar, 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 Briar Wood. Wood. Was that a Bunch death? Near death. Yes, yes. Death. The twins died to the Briar Woods. Yeah. yeah. The Briar Woods. Disintegration and and you went down too, but I you did. didn't I die. Did. No, I. D- well, regardless, that's higher than the DC you would have had. So. Yeah. Okay. In that moment, the earrings that you plucked from Vex's body disintegrate and turn to sand along with the rest of the beach, just slightly discolored. At which point, suddenly, <coughs> Vex oh. coughs up oh. seawater and doubles over, <laughs> spitting it onto the edge of the ocean. What the fuck? What was the DC 12 or something? It was either 11 or 12 based on how she died, so natural 13 worked out a bit higher the next time. Okay, okay, yeah, that's right. No more one shot. I, I'm sorry, I. I uh, I've been chewing up the Oh, cliff. I go, fuck, cliff Percy, face. and I go back into elevator. You're like form. elephant walking up a Grant cliff. Grant Percy. Silence. Oh, that's fine. Where was he? So you rush back towards Percy yeah. on the water. It takes you a few rounds to get there. Yeah, Percy, you see, is like sort of like hobbling up there. You're out there as the dolphin. Sure. Oh. All right. So Keyleth, you, you rush over, and hit the edge as a dolphin. You look up, and you can see Percival's like slowly kind of crab walking up the side of this cliff. Do we have earrings? Oh. Can we like talk to each other as we're fucking earrings? I'm a dolphin. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't we have earrings? Uh, I mean, yeah. 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 The, the, the yeah. cliff is just right. is just stone. It's there's nothing. There's nothing. It's stone mm-hmm. and minerals and I salt did. and and. Eagle shit okay. and. Did you get her? Did you get her? Uh, Rock. Yeah. You are approaching the edge of the cliff. Yeah, they're like tourists looking over the edge. Yeah, and as you rush up to see the, the, the edge, you can see there are five figures that are kind of like. that are kind of looking over the edge and look back at you. And you see, the first time, Silas Briarwood. I do like the cartoon heels, like. <laughs> no fucking way. Is the sun out? No, this is nighttime. Oh. This is nighttime. What was uh, yeah. You guys had dinner in the sunset, like remember? Dusk. Yeah. I may still be poisoned. Yep. Yeah, an hour. Are you. Silas? The four other figures kind of. Begin to move yep. rapidly in a flanking position as he walks towards you. That tracks. Confidently. Crick, crack. Dragging a blade behind him, kind of across the stone. What kind of blade? Uh, the same blade that he fought you guys with uh, at the battle in Thanampala. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maven Edge? Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's not Maven Edge. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, this is an axe. It's a great axe. Sorry. Oh, okay. When I when I get over to Percy, I'm gonna drop my polymorph, mm-hmm. cling onto the rocks, see him struggling up there, and cast polymorph on him. Fine. And turn him into a raven. All right, do it. You are now a raven, Percival. All right. Hmm. We're good. I just need help getting up. Uh, do I get a do I get a, a move around? We do. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and arrange this now, seeing as how this is now turned into a combat turn scenario. Off his torches. Try and conserve some battery there. Uh. And I'll be right back. Oh, oh, oh shit! No. God. There's another map. Silas. Wow, man. Guys, there might be a Delilah clone. This is crazy. I can't believe I just fucking died. Okay. That was okay. stressful. Way too stressful. Into it. I'm gonna leave you as a raven for like 30 seconds so you can get up to the fucking top of the thing and then I'm gonna drop it. Am I gonna still be manacled again? No. Okay. Oh, no. okay good. oh shit! What Oh, wow! Cool. How, how high is that cliff ish? Uh, that cliff edge there is about roughly 150 feet. Okay. So, Grog, you approached to about there. All right. There you are have guns or anything. We don't have any of our stuff. How are you gonna do anything? Flanking. Here. You want a sword? I have a sword. Do you? Ceremonial. I mean, it's all right, Silas. Oh, <laughs> Fucking Silas! I thought he was dead or in shit. 
I nope. thought so too. I did not. I thought you he look, turned into a mist. You away. look ridiculous right now. <laughs> I'm ready to fight for my life. <laughs> Favorite thing. Welcome to Chippendale. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a New Orleans. I'm Duke of York this evening. <laughs> So, Percival, you are currently flying up the cliffside. You'll get there in a round, I'll say, because you've been kind of cruising up at this point. Uh, you're climbing up the side. Yeah, I'm just going to keep concentrating on him for like another, until I see him get over the edge, and then I was going to drop it, basically. You've got it. Um, meanwhile, Pike. Keyleth, you are currently in. I'm in the water, water as an elemental. You are currently. Was so you cruise Shatting around and you're right there next to Scanlan. Oh, I look pretty cool. There you go. Uh -huh, yeah. All right. You would place me. I was just trying to keep up with her. Right. So, so you would be a little ways away over here. Okay. And Pike, did. did did you bring Pike or is anybody else with you? Or you guys still no, by the beach? No, I dropped Pike on the beach I'm with, with uh, Vex. With Vex on that. All right. On the beach right there. Got it. When swimming, would we do action uh, movement and use action as a further movement? You would want to, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, that would mean 60 feet of, of range for me swimming. You've got it. Mm -hmm. All right, so it'll take a couple rounds to get there, guys. Okay. Grog, initiative, please. Grudge match. My favorite. 17. 17 is all the way. Then 17 for silence. Oh shit. So we have. What's your dexterity? Uh, 15, so plus two. Silence goes first. And then the rest of them. That's cocked. Wow, they go first. All right, so, top of the round, Grog, as you're watching up and you say this to Silas and he's dragging the axe behind him, he kind of puts his hand forward and just goes, Shh, all four vampires rush in. 30, five, 10, 30. This is your favorite terrain, Grog. Oh my god. They're in a nice group, here. easy to kill. These guys rush in here. Pirouette. Do a little Billy Elliot. Yeah, moves. <laughs> uh, those two don't get an attack because they are they use the rest of the dash. They weren't quite close enough to do so. Uh, however, the other two do, and they have advantage because they have you flanked. Can we say that because I have persistent rage and the danger has not subsided, that I could rage all the way through running all the way up the cliff from the wedding site, from the rehearsal dinner? If you really want to, sure. Yeah, I wouldn't have dropped it. You didn't berserker rage, so. Right. Frenzy. Yeah, we're frenzy. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, yeah, I'll allow it. Sure. You've been real angry at the fact that you, the, the, the couple went missing. Triple, double death, and whatever. That's a 17 to hit. Uh, misses. Claw attack sh swipes wide, a secondary claw attack against you. That is going to be a 25 to hit. That hits. You take six points of slashing damage reduced to three. Okay. And you are grappled by him. The other one is going to go ahead and attack you. That is going to be a uh, 15 to hit. Misses. Miss. Claw attack again. That's going to be a 22 to hit. Hits. You take another nine points of slashing damage reduced to four. Okay. So that's them right there. Now it's Silas's turn. He rushes up to greet you at this point. Whoosh. Just swoops up in that direction. Mm -hmm. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna be right. Sick. I'm pushing you into that point right there. You are entirely surrounded as they are just bearing down on you. Silas brings the axe wide in the air and moves with unnatural speed right up to you. As soon as he stops, the axe is already mid-swing. Going to be three attacks with the axe on you. That is going to be a, two, a 33 to hit. Yes, sir. All right. You take. Oh, 
22 points of slashing damage, reduced to 11. Okay. As well as 15 points of necrotic damage. As the axe sinks into your body, you can feel the, the shadow burning into your skin. Second attack against you. So oh, 29 to hit. Hits. Uh, that's going to be 24 points slash damage reduced to 12. Okay. Matt did not come to play softball tonight. Mm -hmm. Love it. You guys nice. left my fucking dust titan behind the last Love one. Shot it. on right this way. We all were like stuff. busy finding our fucking outfits for tonight. I know. <laughs> yeah, Seven points necrotic damage. That. Uh, <laughs> and that's going to be 27 to hit. Uh, yes. You suffer 18 points slash damage, reduced to nine. And 14 points necrotic damage. You got it. And that's going to finish Silas's turn. Grog, you're up. You brought me under 200 hit points. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, with my action, I would like to try and lunge forward and tackle Silas and drive him straight backwards. Straight backwards? Straight backwards. Okay, go ahead and make a, uh, make a sh we'll say a grapple, or is this a shove? Try and push him back? Yeah, how far is a shove? A shove is a five foot shove because your strength is so high. I'll say it's half your strength modifier. Which is. In uh, squares. Right, so my strength modifier is eight, so four. So push them back four squares. Four squares. All right. I have advantage on strength checks. 25. Natural 20. Natural 20. All right, that's definitely a hit. So now it's a strength contest. Oh, that's not 20 for your strength contest, you mean? Oh, I just rolled it for the strength check. Yeah, it should have yeah. been. It should have been an attack, yeah. Oh, uh, gotcha, okay. So, yeah, no, he fails and he gets pushed back. One, two, three, four. Kind of skids back, catches himself there. Great. I will spend uh, an action surge and I will drive him back uh, another. You're going to move forward, forward into him? Yep. All right, so you move forward. There's four tax opportunity against you. Oh, oh, I thought I was in a, in a uh, like wrapped around him, grappled during the shove. No, actually, no. You are grappled, so you would not be able to move forward. You are grappled by one of the vampires. Your speed is zero, so you shove him back, and that's where he goes. I understand. Your actions are just try and break the grapple. You're currently being held by one of the vampires. I will spin my action surge. Yes, and I'll I'll make I'll make two attacks. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Against which one? I guess the guys on my right. Same guy or two different? Uh, let's do same guy. Uh, All right. The one of the closest to Silas on the right. Right there, you got it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and roll two attacks against him. Uh, it's thirty-three. That hits. Twenty-one points of slashing damage. Okay, and then uh, 19, 19 to hit. That hits. Roll damage again. Uh, Twenty-two points of slashing Shh, damage. Damn. Nice. And you still have your bonus action. Yes. Yeah, so in my bonus action, I'll slam the Titan Stone knuckles together and I'll cast Enlarge. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, Which forces yes. him back. Boy. He gets forced oh. back. <laughs> there we go. That's Does that fuck with yeah, the grapple yeah. at all, growing that size? Uh, he's still holding on to you. You're still grappled. You still have to break by. Okay. But you have, you're have. you pretty big yes, now. Though. Cool. Uh, that's it. All right. Like How far away are we? Yeah, right. so, so we're getting to that point now. It's the new top of the round. Pike uh, and Vex, you guys are down by the beach and the cliff, so you're about roughly 100 feet away. Okay. I also have one okay. point. I'm going to uh, uh, put my hands on her and cast Cure Wounds at yeah, fourth she's level. Zero? Yeah, she's a zero. Yeah, what are you at? Okay. Um, I don't know. What am I at? You're, You're one hit point. I'm at one hit point. One hit point? Yeah. Okay. Well, he didn't go. Both of you guys went unconscious oh, from the poison. Right. You have 24 points. Thank you. All right. And then, um, 
Should we start making our way up there? What do you want to do? Fuck yeah, I'm going to cast uh, Cure Wounds on myself as well, at third level. Okay. Mm. Eleven plus five is sixteen. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna take off running. Okay, so that's thirty feet and twenty-five feet. Of you guys heading up the edge of the cliff here, yeah. Oh, and making your way as best you can. You're about back. Oh my back. god, we're making our way there. I thought we were right there. No, we're pretty far away. You guys went to the beach, and the beach is kind of far away from where the cliff begins oh. to rise up. So mm. that's where Vex is. Yeah, yeah. Vex and Pike. Damn. You guys kind of spread out at that point, so. I'm, wait, and then we're 100 feet away from the cliff side, or 100 feet away from where the grog is? 100 feet away from where the edge of this map begins. Oh, so fuck. It's going to be rounds. Yeah. Yeah, grog is going to be tanking for a bit. It is. <clears throat> He's the one to split off. Mm-hmm. Um, so while the rest, while that's happening, for the sake of this, let's go ahead and just have everyone else roll initiative so we can do this in the order call. it's supposed to be. Thank you. Woof. Terrible. I've been forgetting to roll some d6s. Okay. <clears throat> well, I remember. Jesus. All right, 25 is 20. 29. Ooh, Percy! Are we. Oh. Yeah, I need to roll initiative too, me and Pike. Yep. Initiative as well? Um, 14. 14. 14. Hey! Well, and Pike together. 12. Gilles? 19. Ooh. Yeah. Where's Trinket? Was he with the group? I see him over there. Uh, keep, keep, uh, sorry, uh, Trinket would be along with the side of the group as you guys were running towards the edge. So as you got brought back to the beach, Trinket would be there on the beach waiting, not wanting to jump in the water okay. after you. So you've sorry, you've come back with, with Trinket. Okay. Derek's at 18. Derek's at 18. So Derek's right after Keela. Already? Man, this is intense for a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Every wedding is intense. I was going to go off without a hitch. Yeah. Hey, glad I was in the Kraken returning. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So, that, finishing that, so we'll say uh, everyone else gets who hasn't gone yet gets a round to go, and then we'll start with initiative order. So, Scanlan, Percy, Keyleth, and Derek. What, what in the order of the initiative? Or in any order right now, and then we'll start with the initiative order oh, next round. I'm watching her. Oh, 29. You go first. Um, what do I have on me, out of curiosity? Like, like, like you what? have your your whatever your, your comfortable formal outfit was for the rehearsal. You had your ceremonial weapon at your side, which is your hand. Sure. Um, what else would you have had on you for that event? Just like all the guns. Well, I mean, like I, I might have had one of the most basic guns, but that would have been all of it. But I don't, I'll allow it. All right, I'll have that one. I'll have my one basic gun. I definitely don't have any of my other fancy shit, though, do I? No, probably not. Okay, that's fine. Would it have gotten wet? wet. Does that yeah. do anything? Uh, as long as I don't try and fire it underwater, it should be it should fine. Be okay. Yeah, everything's capped. So. so Percy, what are you doing? You are currently uh, you're a raven, like circling up the edge of the cliff. You um, climbed quite a bit up. So am, at the raven speed, I'd say if you if you double movement, you can get to the top of the cliff as a raven right now. I'm going to try and and do that and circle around the side. Circle around the side. All right. There. So right now you have rushed around and because well, I don't have a specific. That's yeah. Raven for you. I'll just say for now, you're, this giant eagle represents where you are. Fly like an eagle. You are like right there. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to keep some cover as I make my way around. Right. Yeah. So you watch Percy loop around as the raven and kind of perch on the edge of the cliffside, just barely within your sight. I'm gonna drop polymorph on him. Okay. Percival, you are right there. Man. Um, and I'm gonna. Oh, sorry. You have more to do. Uh, what was your movement? Your action to get over there. Uh, for bonus action, I'm going to uh, uh, second wind. Okay, go for it. All right, take your second wind. That's a. Uh, yay! I'm now at 28 HP. There it is. That's better than one. Uh, Keyleth, Derek, what are you guys doing? Uh, is that all you're doing? Scanlan dropped it. Scanlan, it's his turn as well. Scanlan, are you no longer yeah, a dolphin? How far down? No, he's no longer a dolphin. Yeah, he's climbing that. the edge of the cliff. Uh, how far down? How how tall is this cliff? It's about, I'd say, roughly 150 feet. I got you. Whoa. I got you. Whoa. <laughs> I, I got you. So on my turn, I um, will. I will dimension door up. Oh. Yeah. Never mind. He's got it. Okay. Up to the very edge of the cliff. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Yes. So the woof, you appear kind of right on the tip, like. And I will bonus action heal myself. Go for it. Just for whatever that is. One first level, right? We are first allowed level to do to, that at this. Yep. This in this. In this campaign, yeah. Because I, I appreciate the help, but yeah, this way I get it. to do a bonus action. Yeah. D4 plus yeah. your charisma modifier. Uh, yeah. So that's one plus charisma six or something, right? Mm-hmm. E- charisma six. All right. Seven points. Yes. Okay, you got that's it. it. All right. Keyleth. I will cast Sunbeam. That's my concentration spell. Right, because you can cast in beast form. Yeah. That's right. Ooh! Okay. So you cast Sunbeam. You have it now concentrated. And I'll I'll hold for now. What's that? Still water elemental, chilling on the edge of the cliff. Okay. I'll, can I take this bonus action to turn into a um, earth elemental and slide into the edge of the cliff? Or no? Because you have unlimited bee shapes. Mm-hmm. Level 20 oh, druids. druids. Mm. They're the worst. <laughs> Level 20 druids can do anything. Forever. Level 20 ranger rogue drowns. <laughs> Super easy. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. Multi-class. Right to the lower. <laughs> so you sh- and then vanish into the cliffside. Can I use my movement to elevator up a little bit? Yeah, you can earth glide up to it. I'll okay. Up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's everybody. So now we've. Oh no, sorry, Derek. Right. Uh, if I saw her turn into a big rock thing, which I've seen three times before, and I see this lump go up the side, then I'm swimming towards land. All right, so you're swimming. So at 30 full feet. Speed, 30 feet. Since you're going on the cliff, we'll get you onto the cliff side there. Okay, and then I'd like to make, I guess, an athletic check to climb to that climb shit. It, yeah. On that side of the cliff, it's not as high. You only have about, I'd say, 80 or so feet. 70, 70 feet to climb. Okay, so does the ring of free movement factor into this at all if I don't, like, totally no. fuck my. Doesn't, doesn't at all? Okay, got it. Rolling. Shitty roll. Um, athletics? Mm hmm. Uh, 12. Twelve. Okay. Scaling. You get you get out of the water and you start climbing the edge of the cliff a bit. You get about fifteen feet up, and that's as much Got this it. turn. All right. Send him All right. Turn. That finishes your go. Top of the round. Now we're back in initiative order. Everybody's locked into initiative. Mm. Percy, you're up first. All right. I'm going to come around the side of those rocks real quick. There. Steps there. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hop around to get a shot on two of the people who are uh, who are um, getting in the way of Grog. Okay, about there. You can see them right there. Yeah, and I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a uh, um, piercing shot. I'm gonna spend a grit point for a piercing shot. Okay. Against which one of these? Um, the two front ones in the line. Right there. You got it. Uh, here we go. And yeah, I don't get a bonus on that, do I? Nope. With the retort, which is definitely an iffy gun. Here we go. Uh, that's a 24 to hit. That hits. Uh, that's. Um, Nine points of damage to the first one. Nine points, you got it. Um, and then and the second one, you roll for another attack to hit him? Uh, another attack, that's right. I believe with disadvantage on that one. Uh, I think it's just a straight roll, if I recall. It's just that it could, if I recall, it's just a straight roll. I would double check it. Mm. I don't have on this phone. Chip. I'll roll disadvantage. On like this phone, product. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's. You get to attack the first one and then and disadvantage on the next. Ones, I think. All the ones behind it. Okay, that's a sixteen to hit. Sixteen still hits. Yeah. And that's seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. You got it. Uh, that's the first attack. So, the gunshot sound happens, and you watch them. A uh, handful of them kind of look over. Silas looks over in that direction, but you are just out of his sight range mm-hmm. from the rock right there in that point. Uh, and I'm going to take uh, two more shots. Go for it. Let's, uh... That was your first shot, was the piercing shot, yeah, right? So you technically have three more shots. I have three more shots now. Because you're level 20, because you have four attacks in level 20. Fuck, that's so crazy. Ooh, get him uh, first! All right, let's, uh... We have to reload after that, but you can do Well, I mean, I have a bonus action for yeah. that, so that's you fine. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Um, I'm going to uh, spend another grip point for advantage. Where's my grip points? You're so crazy. I know. Where my grip points go? I know how many I have, so that's right. So this is... Uh, and that's a uh, 25 to hit. 25 hits. This is terrible. 
eight points of piercing. To so this guy there? Or uh, this guy? Yeah, that, yeah, that guy there. One you already hit? Yep. All right, eight points piercing. All righty. Um, two more attacks. He's looking hurt. He's taking a, quite a beating from Grog, and he's still taking a two shots now from you from behind. Um, another just a straight shot. Go for it. Uh, just 27 to hit. That hits, roll damage. Uh, 11 points of piercing. Oof. Nice. All righty. And one more. One more, Damn. go for it. Uh, that's 18 to hit. That uh, hits, roll damage. Uh, that's uh, 15 points of damage. 15 points of damage. Fucking get at him. Turns into mist. Yeah. Nice. And attempts to start floating away. Okay. I'm. His mist form is right there. I'm going to duck down at, with, with, with little as left of my movement. I'm going to. You can move down about yeah, 10 so feet. Yeah, and I'm going to hop and, and, yeah, and, and take cover. Okay, you got it. Finishing Percy's round, that brings us to their turn. They go ahead and look over and can't see what, who's in the vicinity, and instead just go ahead and turn back to focus on Grog. One down. This guy's going to go ahead and stay censored there. This guy's going to stay there. One of those guys has you grappled. The grappled guy is going to attempt to bite you once, as well as a, uh, uh, a slash, the slash first. That is going to be a yeah that hits that's a that's a twenty six to hit mm-hmm. over the claws you suffer four plus that's it's uh, seven point slashing damage reduced to three okay. and then it's going to attempt to bite you uh, that is going to be a sixteen to hit uh, misses yep tries to bite into you and you just shrug it off with your shoulder it barely even scrapes the skin can I use my retaliation to take a swipe at him you may that's this guy here. Right. Yes. Uh, 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 21 to hit. That hits, roll damage. Right. 17, 17. Uh, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, 23 points of slashing damage. Two plus points your, of necrotic. Plus your, your oh, enlarged. additional large. Thank you. I think it'd be four, right? Four points, 27 total. 27 points of damage. Oof, that's a nasty hit. All right. Other guy's going to attack you slashing twice. That's going to be a 19 to hit. Uh, hits. You take t- uh, eight points of slashing damage reduced to four. Uh, yeah, that hits. That's a 23 to hit. You take another. Eight, another eight points slashing damage, reduced to four. Okay. Two more attacks. That definitely hits. We're going to 18. You take another eight points, reduced to four. Oh my god. And that one misses you. Great. All right. That finishes there, go. Keyleth, you're up now. Okay, I'm elevatoring up. What's the movement on your. 30 what? feet burrow speed. 30 feet burrow speed? Earth, Earth, Earth glide. Earth glide. Straight up. All right, so you moved up. 30 feet previously. Uh huh. You know, move up another 30 feet. At 60 feet up, you uh-huh. have another, like, we'll say, uh, 60, 150. You have another, like, 70 feet to get to the surface. Okay. 70, 80 feet. Jeepers. Okay. So. Use my bonus action to do one more? Not bonus action. Or my move, my action. Use your action to move. Sorry. Yes. Uh, action to move again. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So you have, so next turn, if you do both, you can get up to the top. Yeah. Okay. So sh- sh- you're shifting up in that area. Yeah. Finishing Keyleth, go. That's now Silas's turn. Silas, where is he? Oh, God, that's Silas? Yep. <laughs> no. No. And then warp around no, that way. No. Shh. No. And at no, immense no. speed, as he spins around behind, he's now flanking the guy on the opposite side of you, having you surrounded, Grog. He's going to go ahead and take his attacks on you. So with advantage on those, as he's flanking you. Mm-hmm. First attack is going to be a 25 to hit. Oh, that hits. Second attack is going to be a 26 to hit. That hits. Oh my God. Third attack is going to be a 29 to hit. Yes, sir. All righty, so all three attacks hit you with the great Sander. axe. You suffer 16 points of slashing damage, reduced to eight. Great. Motherfucker. Do all attacks at once. Uh, 23 points of slashing damage, reduced to uh, 11. Okay. And then, ooh, 
26 points of slash damage reduced to 13. I'll use my stone's endurance, which is a 1 to 12. You, it's my... a reaction, is it? I've already used your reaction for, to retaliate, I think. Is it a reaction? I thought it, it was just something I could do. It just says stone's endurance. Subtract 1 to 12 con from damage taken once per short long rest. Let me double check here as cool. far as the ratio. Are you still grapple PT dubs? I yes. think so, yeah. yeah. So it's endurance. Right. You can use your reaction to roll it, so you I'll have to. Save it for the next yeah, time. Next turn. All right, so uh, so you mark all that damage down? Uh, 26 in half was 13. 13. Right? And now we do the necrotic damage, and this is not half. Great. Right. Oh, wow. That is 15 points of necrotic damage. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, 14 points of necrotic damage. Oh, rough. And. 16 points from product damage. Right. Jesus. <gasps> That's going to finish Alice's turn. Beautiful. All right. Oh, man, Groggy. Oh, aces. My plumage is a flying, huh? Grog, you're up. Oh. Uh, great. I will uh, la, 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 turn on Silas and say. Uh, this mist is going to also like drift away. Fuck that mist. And double move. And try and make its way out of it. Let you and I dance proper, and I will go into a frenzy rage. Alrighty. And I will make uh, all three of my attacks <coughs> reckless against Silas. Go for it. Uh, that is a 30 to hit. That hits. That is eight. I have my arrow, sorry, but I'll just go after Grog. Uh, 27 on the first. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're after Keyleth. I'm sorry, that's my fault. Uh, 27 points of damage on the first 27 one. 27 points. Does he need that necrotic? Uh, 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 two points were necrotic. Okay, got you. Um, uh, do I crit on 19 now? I don't believe so. That was something we had with. Uh, sort of cause. Sort of cause, yeah, yeah that's right. Okay. That you got right. Very high, right? Um, this is a million. It, it, it's natural 19, so it definitely yeah. hits. Um, this is. Damn it, three. You had them previously when you fought him. Huh? You had them previously? You had them previously? Yeah. How many did you have last time? Three? Three. So he might have even more now. That's uh, 28 points of slashing damage Ooh. with three points of necrotic. Got you. And the last one. Uh, is a uh, 30 to hit. That hits, you roll damage. That's better. Uh, 22, six. Dope, 32, oh, come here, 1d4. 32. Uh, 34 points with uh, three points of necrotic damage. You got it. Oof. That is that is uh, almost almost ninety points of damage in one round. Uh, as you're slashing and carving into Silas, you watch him. Like <laughs> He's still just grinning. Beautiful. I will use my movement to uh, rush. You're still grappled, unfortunately, you cannot move. Fuck. That totally changes my plan. Understood. With my bonus action, I will. What are you attacking with your bonus action? Oh, oh, that's right. Because that's what my friend just rages. I will do yep. nothing. Thank you. All right, Grog's turn is done. We're coming back to you, Derek. I don't think I would get to anybody, but I got a movement, an action, and an action surge, so I'll get as high up the cliff face as I can okay, with that. Okay, make an athletics check. For yes, me. sir. Come on. Uh, that's good. That is 27. 27, I'll say with all three of those, that gets you up onto the cliff with an additional 10 feet of movement. I uh, start moving, yeah, moving forward towards the okay. scrum. Cool, that's your turn. Mm -hmm. That brings us to Vex and Pike. Using everything to just fucking keep run and get there. Keep running, keep running, I'm gonna keep running and casting just spells run. that are too much for the situation, or uh, don't make any sense. Okay, we'll say <laughs> next round you guys will make it onto the board. Great. What well, the range of your arrows are? I don't have a bow on me. I'm oh, that's gonna, right. Like, oh, I've nerd. got no weapons. Nerf. It's gonna be fine. Just pipe, got, like, cast true resurrection like four in more my times. Pants. Wedding pants. I don't have a bow. Why would I have a bow and arrows on me when I'm fucking at a rehearsal dinner? Well, remember the bow and arrow pin that you were wearing? Oh, yeah. Just like yeah. Pin. I lost that in the water. <laughs> so actually, we'll say, we'll say as part of the rumors, you're still clutching the arrow pin. Okay. Sure. All right. You know what this is doing, though? Building character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. That finishes your go. 
Scanlan, you're up. Death well, I'm assuming he's very powerful. Wow, Grog is getting wrecked over there. I want to. I was gonna do something, but I don't want to hurt Grog. So I guess I'll shoot. Um, I'll shoot a lightning bolt that hopefully will hit si Silas and that guy in front of him. Okay. So you just step up from there and then fire. Pew! Yeah. Uh, right straight through. Uh, yeah, I assume I don't have my cone, so it's a 19 to save. 19 to no, save? No, 20 to save. 20 to save. Silas, oh, Fails is going to use one of his legendary resistances. Ah, there, ah, it, is. there it is. The other vampire. Fails, the natural two. Lightning um, bolt is 86 or is it? 86 at the third level. Thank you. 86, okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, 36 points of damage. 36 points of damage, that's nice. Yeah. 18 to Silas, and to the other vampire behind him. That is a big old chunk. As the one that's right in front of Silas, the bolt takes squarely to the chest before arcing back into Silas. You watch the chest kind of burn, this big puff of smoke, dark off the front of his torso. Uh, hurt, but still standing. Kind of angrily hisses in your direction. Sure, and I will move towards the that spire thing over there just Here. to get behind it a little bit. Yeah, and I'll inspire Grog. Okay. Because he's in it. I'll sing to him. Oh, well, it's just like the ocean right over there where the bride and groom died and it made me really scared. I've got a lot of moves, but I can't do this alone, so do something cool, make it quick, or else forget about it. Oh my god. Yeah, that was great. Oh, I miss it so much. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so take that, take that inspiration, Grog. Yes, D12, right? Yes. You got it. All right. Cool. <coughs> Ring is finishing that round there. Top of the round, Percy, you're up. Fudge. I'm going to uh, peek my head up uh, over the cliff one more time, see what the situation is. Okay. So you shift up five, ten to peek up the top. Point that. Uh, you one see of those Grog being surrounded by all of them, and he's. How you looking, Grog? I'm okay. Okay, he's looking okay. Uh, one Bleeding, but he's still just large and <laughs> just one of them is around. worse. One of them is grappling him, though, right? Correct. That's the one on that in there. Cool. Thank I'm you. taking a shot at that one, Go and I'm it. going to be using. I'm going to. I'm going to be uh, doing a trick shot. And I'm going to get him, getting him to drop. Okay. All right. Go ahead and. <laughs> Silas. No. no. The vampire that's holding you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, nope. Uh, I'm spending the rest of my turn trying to get my gun to, to fix, so. <gasps> it's fire. It's a misfire. No! So, it was oh wet. God. It was just a little wet. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Drop. See if it's. Let's keep your powder dry. Yeah, that's, I can't oh. shoot again, but I can at least try and fix it for the rest of my I'll turn. I'll let you try that, yeah. Uh. Barely, so yeah. Because this is the one that. Sucks. So yep. just, just so there you go. I've rolled terribly. God damn it. But it was a five, right? It was Which five. With your decks and everything, you're fine. It was fine. So but you repair like, the gun this turn. Yeah. If you, got, you still have your movement if you want to so try. Uh, I'm definitely going to. Uh, since nothing happened, I'm definitely going to like return to cover. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get some decent cover again. You got it. God so damn it. Back down to that space there. That was useless. All right. The vampire is now. Uh, Fucking useless. Yep. The one that's gonna go ahead and attempt to assault. They're just going after you, Grog. They're trying to tear you down. You're the, you're the, you're the sincere danger right now. I understand. Uh, that's going to be uh, 15 to hit. Misses. Misses. And a 24 to hit. Ooh. Hits. Damn so, it, it's a claw attack you for 10, reduced to 5. 5. Other one is going to attempt to hit you for 18. Uh, misses. 18 misses. Claw attack, attack there, misses. Uh, that is going to be a 17, which misses you again. Mm -hmm. The other one has two more attacks against you. Natural 20. Ooh. Oh, God, God. oh boy. That'll be. Oof. Oof. Uh, 13 reduced to six points of slashing damage to you. And is going to attempt to bite attack you. Okay. Uh, and that is going to be a 19. Hits. So you take 
Uh, <laughs> five, yeah, someone bites into you. Five points of piercing damage reduced to two. Okay. And you suffer six points of necrotic damage, okay. which reduces your maximum hit points by six. Gotcha. All right, and that finishes their go. They're going to go ahead and sh swarm over this way. This is going to go ahead and shift over to this point there. And this one's going to go ahead and. They're all in melee still, yeah. Shift, yeah, can move through his friend. To that side there, they're kind of rearranging and, sp and like moving around you and trying to keep you confused and looking around. Uh, that finishes their go. Now it is Keyleth's turn. Keyleth, <laughs> you managed to full up movement, <laughs> get back up in there. And so now you out of the ground behind, clutching your sunbeam, but that's your action and movement to get up there. You watch as Silas looks over and sees you. And goes, there's a look of recognition in his face. And I just go. As an elemental, <laughs> in the same way. Can you smell what the oh. rock is cooking? <laughs> you got it. And All I right. just look at Grog and I go. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm open! <laughs> Over here! All right, uh, Derek, your turn. Uh, is there one of those two vampires that's still on its feet, the one that's grappling Grog? Uh, there is. It's this one here. All right. So, can I? Am I able to close that distance? I can't tell. 15, 25, 30. What's your speed? Uh, it's. Uh, it is 30. 30. You can I will spend a superiority one. die. Wait. What's that? So you cannot. you cannot, cannot. you cannot get you cannot you close spend the a superiority die to lunge attack. That's okay. like an extra five Ooh. feet. Oh yeah, go for um, it. Superiority dies, man. Nineteen definitely hits. Yep, that hits. Go and roll some damage, uh, yo. Yeah. Right. Uh, no, no okay. we want that sweet sweet twenty. Uh, so <laughs> oh, that's right. Because yeah, you've got that fucking oh purple You do have an advantage on the attack. Don't forget, because you are technically pincering. Give me a twenty. Oh, actually, no. Against that guy, you do not have. <laughs> Sorry. Against the corner guy, you have you advantage. What you lose? Against the guy you're attacking, you do not. So just roll, go ahead and roll damage. Nice. I'm doing it. Okay. So here's the superiority. Superiority die is four plus. Um, <clears throat> scanning, scanning new new character. Who this? Um, so sixteen. So twenty total for that. Twenty total. Great. So, you watch now between the damage that's already taken in that one, he's looking fairly hurt mm -hmm. in that one. But that's my action, and I can't reach any reach them with the other two because it's only the you first. You can't reach th that guy unless you do more other. lunging attacks. You're going to reach that guy. Oh, well, then I'll unload the uh, next two attacks on that fellow. Got it. Who you have advantage with. You do have advantage against okay. him because your tempting grog is putting him in a flanking position. So that is 28 for that one. That hits. Okay. That is 16 points of damage. You got it. And the next one. Dang it, a 19. Uh, I want it so bad. Uh, his uh, six plus nine is 15. 15. Oh, he's looking really rough too. Okay. Both in a bad place. All right. That finishes your go. All done. Next up is Silas. Decapitated vampires are uh, so bad. No. Silas. I can feel it. Now oh, sees like everyone else. Showing up in that position. So this is going to take off this way. This oh, no. You, you bitch! bitch. Wow. Okay. He needs to get an attacker because he's grappled, he doesn't. 40. Hmm? Does Grog get an attack? He does, if you want to use your reaction to hit him. I do. All right. Yeah. Hit that Silas motherfucker. Uh, that's a 29. 29? Mm hmm. Okay, that hits. Roll damage. 11, 25, 29, 24. Whoa! 34, 36 with five points of necrotic in there. 36 points of necrotic. 36. Disadvantage is one point. Wait, necrotic. Distance shot, but advantage. I think it's probably right. Okay, less. He rushes up, looks right towards you, Keyleth, glowers at you. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw oh, for me. Smear that motherfucker. Wisdom. You're so wise. wise, as fuck. wise You're as fuck. wise. Wisdom saving throw? Yeah, wise as fuck. W-A-F. WAF. WAF. Which one? Which one? Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. This die. Okay, 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 Very okay, good. okay. Uh, 27. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Wow. The charm does not affect your wow. Wow. charm. 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 I also have advantage on saving charm. Being charmed. Ah, being fey ancestry. That's true. So. so roll again. Why not? Why not? Uh, no, we'll stick with that first one. Okay. He now knows not to do that. Uh, all right. That finishes his turn there. That brings us to. 
Grog. So I need to break the grapple if I want to move, right? Correct. I want to do something I want. Just one big swipe. The one who's grappling you is the one that Liam lunged at, right? Uh huh. I do have backup. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I will. Uh, yeah, I'll take all three frenzied attacks at. Um, I'll start at the one that was grappling me. All right. I, have to, I have to spend my action to break the grapple. Okay, it's right? that guy there. Yeah, spend your action to break it. So if you want to attack him twice instead, it's up to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll attack him twice. Go for it. He's already hit pretty hard. Hint, hint. Oh Stop. shit. Uh, that is a 35. That definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Nine. Uh, 21. Four points of necrotic. 21. Uh, 25 total. 25 total. Yeah, he's looking really rough. Okay. So you hack him. Slams in the ground, like pancaked out. You withdraw the axe, and you're like, it's trying to get back up. Next attack roll is. That's kind of cocky. 26. 26. Yes. Go ahead and roll damage. 21. 25. Hey, 27. 27 with one point of necrotic for 28 total. He turns into mist. From the impact, you are no longer grappled. No longer grappled with one more attack. With your bonus action, yeah. Yes. Slick. <laughs> Excellent. You, Excellent, thank you. You, you've earned it. <laughs> <laughs> I will take it on the. Uh, I will take it on the uh, vampire that's closest to you. Alrighty. Uh, 20, uh, 26 to hit? That hits, yeah. We're all damage. Okay, <laughs> this guy has not been hit yet. Uh, 22, 26. 26 plus one point of a chronic for 27, and uh, 30 total. 30, ooh, heavy strike. Yeah. Nice, that finish your turn? Yes, it does. All right, so I was going to use legendary action. Actually, my movement, I still have my movement. You do. I am going to stay there. Okay. At the end of your turn, Sal's going to use one of his legendary actions. Let's go ahead and move his speed. Oh, oh he went the other Son way. Of yep. a fuck. All right. Vex going? and Pike, you're up. Okay, okay. That's can good. we get on the board? Yes, you guys, with your movement, can get up onto the board. Yes. Hey. And how far away are we from everything? Um. Well, these vampires are roughly, like, we'll say 40, 45 feet. Okay. And Silas is about 60 to 70 feet from you. As we crest the top of the hill of the cliff, I'm going to take the pin that I took from Percy, flip it in the air, throw it up, and cast Conjure Barrage. Whoa! Oh, I'll dope. allow it. Hell With yeah. it. That's everything in a 60 foot cone. What? <laughs> that includes if you, if, who you wanted to hit, like everyone here? Yeah. Including Grog? Grog yeah. Okay. All righty. So That's you take deck the. Deck save. Deck save on them. All righty. I'm good for those. Whoa. So both vampires. I get it. Um, what's the DC? 17. 17. No, both fail. I rolled a 17. Yeah. Hey, nice. It's 60 feet, you said? Yep. Gotcha. Hey Matt, what's that ring on? Did a vampire go invisible or something? That's missed. That's missed. Missed. Thank you. Uh, I was trying to. Wait so that's eleven it. points. No. Eleven points. All right. Eleven points of damage. Uh, but at the same time, as I that's hitting, that. yeah. I'm gonna say, Oof. Silas. Delilah Briarwood was a. Bitch. Ooh. I'm gonna cast Ooh. Blessing of the Dawn Father as a bonus action. Ooh, the Dawn Alrighty. Father. So I light up with the light of day. You now emanating like a sun in a certain radius around you. 120 Ooh. feet. Ooh. 120 feet around you? Yep. Oh, that's like most of the map. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Emanating. Okay. Ooh. 
<laughs> okay then. Priscilla. Oh. Oh. Like your turn. My turn. Yeah. What do you do? Okay. I am going to um, uh, hold my holy symbol, and I am going to create a spiritual weapon. Okay, what kind of weapon you want to make? Yeah, I want it to look like Fenthris, but gold, all gold. Okay. And I want to make a bow for Vex. Ooh. I'll allow it. That's 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 You'll, okay. you'll be giving up your, your spiritual so weapon cheap. bonus action attacks, oh but you'll be outfitting her with a magical bow. Fine. What? Dope. Do I get uh, arrows dope. in it? Yeah, it's it magic. creates arrows. Yeah. Magical yeah. feathers. Wow. <laughs> would that be with my normal attack, or would that be like the spiritual weapon attack? No, it would be your normal attack, and it's considered magical. Oh. Let's take a plus one. Dope. 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 That's pretty. That's a creative use of that all out. Okay. Oh my god. For sure. For sure. So. That's, That's a bonus, bonus action. action. Yes. And Man. then um, yes. I would also like to um, cast Daylight over Silas. Daylight right here? Yeah. What's the range on it? 60 feet. 60 feet. Ooh, yeah. So you create this large beam. So. Vexalia is now just this star that, like, everyone right now over in Shamal Bay sees this like bright, shining light, like a, like a tiny little bead of the sun just appeared on this cliff face, and then a secondary daylight orb just appeared on this far corner. You watch the vampires inside us all, they're all shrinking down from both radiant blasts that are just bearing down on them. That's your action that finishes your turn, Pike. Yep. All right. Yeah. Oh, we already did the Yeah, Scanlon, okay. you're up. I'm up. Oh, fuck balls, shit. Uh, he's he's like 60 feet away from me. Well, Look out and he's that. fleeing. You don't know, he moved back. He moved back. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I will unload my wand of fireballs at him. At Silas? Wow. Yes. All right. How many? Uh... I mean, it's a million. So I don't. I think it's unfair to use all of them. If I use all all of it, it's an eighth level fireball spell. That's up to you, man. <laughs> Fucking right. nuke that I'm, guy. Yes, I will do that. Sure, you can take it. All right. So that's that's third level. So it's take one, two, three, four, five. That's five additional. So that's thirteen d six. I hope he's not fire resistant. It's like thirty six or forty five. Just put extra. it far, far enough away from me. If you yeah. Can. He's gonna make a deck save. What's the DC for the for the? I'm actually oh, resistant it's to the, fire. It's so it's just a standard it spell. It's not my it's not my spell save right. yeah. DC. So it's like a 13 or 14. Yeah. Or something. So he makes the oh, save. So he's half damage. Half damage. Oh, <laughs> bullshit. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. It's still a lot. It's still like 70. This is just let me see. Count these up. This is 12. So there's one more oh after. Oh my god. There's another one there. Uh huh. You're right. Okay. Oh boy. This is a lot of math. Uh, might be the second largest Ooh. amount of dice rolled next to Keyleth's cliff dive. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nothing will ever top that dice roll. 52. Ooh. 52. Ooh. Silas takes 26 fire damage. <laughs> The explosion is, I mean, you've seen some fireballs, but this is like One more. dense nuclear hydrogen fire as it just burns in the space. As soon as the fire spirals and burns away, you see Silas kind of hunkered down like in a shell position, like Ugh! the sunlight bearing down on him. You can see it burning his flesh and the vampires in the vicinity are like ah! Sweet. So you moved out to fire that. And yes, you I did. Back in. I'll That's move. Right. A, I'll move a little bit towards um, towards the battle, towards uh, Derig, as far as I can go. Okay, that'll get you out there. Uh, and I will inspire. Who's gonna do something cool? Probably Keyleth. You're after me. Percy, Percy, and then me. You can't see me. Though. You got, you got Keyleth. You can see Keyleth. You can see Vex. You can see Grog. You can see Pike. Pike. And you can see Derig. Fuck, they're all the right there. Uh, I will inspire. Uh, I will inspire Keyleth, because she's up next. Although she doesn't really need me. Your spells just happen. You don't need you don't need to roll. 
Um, I'm in range. You're in range? Yeah. You need you need it. There's an exact amount of squares to get me on silence. Okay, I will inspire you. Uh, I'll sing to you. You got skills, they're multiplying, <laughs> but you're losing control. With the power I'm supplying, it's inspiration of fire! Oh. 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 <laughs> it was, I had it, I was with you up until that. But last. I said, Fyin! Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, this yeah. is why they're legendary! <laughs> Begrudgingly take your d12. Yeah. The stories are true! Yeah. Take End of your turn. 12 yeah, that's goals. it. All right, end of your turn, Salas is going to use another legendary action nope. to move 40 feet. God oh, damn it! Thought. But I provoked him! This way. Damn it. Now it's a car chase. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Now I'm out. Damn it. What's the radius of your sunlight? 120 feet. He's still in the radius. All right, that finishes. He's still in the radius. Percy, it's your turn. I'm going to back the fuck up from this dude, but while I do, I'm going to take a shot. Ooh, yeah, you're uh, over there. Over here, you mean? Yeah, I'm going to be backing up and backing heading towards Keyleth. Yeah, you got it. Uh, for my full movement, and I'm going to be full movement. I'll get you back up here. Yeah, whatever, and or if I can find cover from him too at the end of my movement. Uh, okay, you'll probably have to move back here. Yeah, uh, I'm going to uh, hit him with a. Uh, um, I'm going to try and do a uh, a, a uh, called shot, and I'm going to try and uh, hit him in the leg. Okay. It's this terrible, terrible gun. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. That hits, yes. just barely. Uh, it was our so that's a, a trick shot. Uh, so it's, I don't have the data here because this is not the full character sheet. What's well, it's a leg or wing shot. Right, so he has to make a strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Uh, yes. Ooh, that would help a lot. Yeah. And he also takes his damage. Correct. That is going to be a 22. Oh yeah, he, he saves so that. he makes it. Uh, but he still takes, uh, takes damage. Still takes a... Uh, uh, 14 points of damage. 14 points of damage, you got it. Um, he's starting to look a little haggard. You can see now, like, between the sweat and the dark undead blood that's pouring out of his face, he's starting to look like he's hes not doing great. Um, I'm going to take a, another, uh, uh, going to take a, um, a uh, uh, I can't remember any of the names of anything. Uh, dead Eye, one more Dead Eye shot, just to make sure I hit him. Go for it. Uh, 20, 27 to hit. That hits, roll damage. Uh, that's uh, 12 mm. points. 12 points. I only have like two more hit points left, but fuck it. One more dead shot. Go for it. It's your wedding day, man. Uh, yay! That's a critical. Yay! Yes. Which is hemorrhaging shot. Which is a hemorrhaging shot, which means. He takes half the damage next turn that he takes this from this shot. Yeah. So. Uh, um, Scone your, your your critical damage. Which is. Aha! Uh -huh. Wow. That's 26 points of piercing damage. Ooh, fuck. He takes, takes 13, 13 next turn. Next yep. Nice. At the beginning fuck. of his turn. And I also get back one of my uh, points, which I'm going to use to make one last dead eye shot. Go for it. Flex on your body, guy. <laughs> uh, that's a 20 to hit. 20 just misses. Just misses. Well, I'm going to burn my last uh, action surge and take four more shots. Jesus. Four more <laughs> shots? Let the man uh, level work. Level 20 fighter, man. Yep. Let the man work. Wait, uh, that's a that? 27 to hit. That hits, roll damage. Oh my god. Uh, that's so seven points of damage. Seven points, How many shots got it. is that? Uh, eight. That's 24 to hit. That hits, roll damage. Uh, yeah, that's my bonus action. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's uh, 15. 15, all righty. Uh, two more, let's just let's just take them together. Go for it. Get 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 um, oh my god! And it jams on me, and I, and I put it away. You dart and, off and dart behind, off. But, but you got like a just unloading into Silas as he's running backward, just taking all these shots to the chest. You see splatters and explosions across as each bullet impacts his torso. That finishes your And turn. I'm ducking and hiding. You duck behind. End of your turn, he's going to use his last legendary action to move. Come on. And he shifts Come 40 on. more feet over to this side. He is running from the light because that shit is about to burn his face. Shit. All righty. That brings us to the vampire's turn. At the top of the turn, they both take 20 points of radiant damage for being in the sunlight. Uh, the one who's been heavily damaged here burns away. Yeah. The mist burns away. Yeah. Only one of them managed to pull away, and the other one takes 20 additional points of damage from that. 
for his turn, he's going to run from Grog and attempt to follow suit with the status for him. I will take an attack of opportunity against him. Go for it. Uh, that is a 22 to, 24 to hit. 24 hits. Two points of necrotic for 23, uh, 27 points of slashing damage. Yeah. He's unable to turn into mist form well in the sunlight. That was just like four damage over his oh, maximum. Yes. He just kind of like runs and just ash goes Sick. onto the rock surface there. You fuck. All right, that ends their turn. Keyleth, you're up. Can I use my bonus action to turn into an air, air elemental? Uh, sure. Asshole. I know. Yeah. Bonus action air elemental. Fly speed of 90 feet towards Silas. Wow. Yes. Fuck him up. Yes, queen. <sighs> so fast. 70. That's good. Yeah. Okay, and I still have my sunbeam going. You do. That's a minute. So I'm going to take the daylight that Pike threw out and the starlight from Vex, and I want to. Toss my ball of sunlight into it to make like a massive sunlight orb, <laughs> and then I'm gonna take it. I want to harness it, and I want to drive you're, it right so into. So what you're it. saying is you're you're full on like Son Goku, like coming. Yes. Yes. Come here, Bob. <laughs> yes. Okay. Combining all sunlight elements into his face. All right. What is the yes. saving throw for that? It's wait. I switched to air elemental. Hang on. I think it's a him 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 at constitution. Don't do this to me right now. Get a girl. Hang on, hang on. Let me double check. Let me double check. Okay. Sunbeam it is constitution. Yeah. Uh, he gets uh, 18. Your DC is 21. 21. He's going to use another legendary resistance to. No, save. sorry, 20. Is yeah, it? he still fails. So you use legendary resistance to succeed. So go ahead and roll damage. He takes half. Okay, half damage. <sighs> okay, seven, ten, fourteen, nineteen, uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Reduced to half. Damage. He takes thirteen. Radiant damage. It burns him. He's his regeneration is off. He's he's in a bad place. That finish your turn, Kilo? Yeah. All right, Kilo is done. It's now your turn, Derek. Uh, uh, Derek is going to run up to Grog and uh, take uh, swing his sword around in his hand and uh, smack the butt of it into Grog's back as hard as he can. Whack! I'm going to spend a superiority die to use my maneuvering attack, so a friend or ally can, as a reaction, move half movement. Uh, so I'm going to hit Grog in the back and say, "Tell her to go," and have uh, Keyleth move half her movement forward. Okay, so using the superior, <laughs> that'll put you kind of to cut off oh. Silas. So you manage to oh, okay. move yeah. around and cut him off, preparing your next blast. And Silas kind of like sees that after the first blast, you're this way. Everyone else is this way. He's starting to like think of what his next step is to to escape. Sick. Did that finish your turn? Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Six, six, six. All right, that makes it Silas's turn. Silas gets his legendary actions back. Oh, he's way far away. Uh, he is technically now out of the radius of the sun, so he doesn't take radiant damage at the start of his turn. He does bolting. take the 13 from Percy. He does take the 13 from Percy. And then, hopefully. He is going to turn into a bat. Oh. Goes into his bat form. And I'll use. No, 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 We'll save the purpose of that, I'll just keep this Endless. as the bat. Giant form. bat! <laughs> Huge ah. bat. And it's going to. This is action, his movement, it's going to be 40. Well, it's a bat. Yeah. So he goes. And it's going to just scoot off in this direction. So he's. He's trying to just get out of there best he can. You're uh, right now? I'm an air elemental, yeah. You see, you can fly. You can fly. Yeah. <laughs> Legendary ship can make him. So. Yeah, you can. That ends his turn. Grog? Yeah, I will uh, run 50 feet in his direction. I will use my action to double that to 100. All right, so you rush and you get basically right to where Keyleth is. How high off the ground is he? Uh, right now, he's about 40 feet off the ground. Yeah, I'm just going to fucking throw my blood axe up at yes. him. Yes. Go for it. Yep. 
Yes. <laughs> Giant toss. Thrown in the sky. Uh, that's a 28 to hit. That Fuck. hits. Uh, 26, which is 30. 34 points of necrotic, necrotic for 34, and 35 total. Wait, four points of necrotic? Four points of necrotic. Okay. So 35 total. Does that heal him, necrotic? No, I don't think, no, I think it's like half damage on him. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The axe poof, buries in him from the bat from underneath. And uh, you watch. Let me see here. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, the bat, double check, he's polymorph into it, so yeah, the bat form drops. And he oh, slams shit. onto the ground oh. right next to you. Oh, oh. oh. shit. As Shut Silas? As Silas, yeah. Oh, guys, you, you could, good fellas, like, kick him <laughs> right huh? on the ground. He oh, boy. Head stomp. Reduces the damage. And he has resistance anyway, so he takes very little damage from the impact. He kind of lands on the ground, right there. So it was your action to throw. I used my axe. I used my action to double my speed, and my bonus action was to throw. So that's it. Right. Yeah, that'll be it. The frenzy. Yeah. Yep. All right. That brings us to Pike and Vax. Yeah, Vax. Do this. Do this. I run forward. Yep. You run forward. As Get it. much as I can to put him back in the daylight. Uh, okay. It? He would be. It's 120, 120 feet. feet. He's just outside of the daylight with that movement speed. Even if you double with your action, you double double run. If she wanted to. If I double run, but, but then I don't get an attack. Oh. But I could you fire. Could possibly end it. Your magic it's up to you. Yeah. Awesome your bow. bow. Of course you're gonna shoot your it's magic not a, bow. Well, it's not a radiant bow. It doesn't do radiant damage. Oh. Does it? Because it's pike. Uh, the spiritual okay. weapon is radiant damage. It is. So it would do radiant? Yeah. For this, yes. Get it. Come on. All right, fuck it. Then I'm going to fucking try to Not hit him with a shit. fucking air I can ride Zilla up in this bitch. Kill a bitch. He's prone, so he has you have disadvantage on the oh, attacks. Oh, he's prone. I thought he landed like poosh. No, it was like No, douche. he did. He rolled athletics, you're right. He so he did land more like a douche, not he boosh, did. but a douche. Yeah, yeah, right. He did. Yeah. Yeah. We start with the douche, and we end with the boosh. All right, so let's look at the range on this. The longbow is 150 foot range. Yeah, he's in your, your range of commands. Yeah, that's a better plus 16. That, that hits, go to roll damage. Oh my god. Come on, Vex. Do Come on, Vex. Oh, bonus action, Hunter's Mark. Yay! Okay. What's the range on Hunter's Mark? Oh, like 60 feet. Probably. <laughs> yeah, he's like, that's your range for it. That's okay. Whatever. That's okay. Oh, but he's surrounded. I get sneak attack, bitch. Yep. You do. Ooh, ah. you're a rogue too. Ah. Okay, wait. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, oh. So come on. Eight. That's 16 plus 24 lightning. 18 plus. Ooh. Ooh. 18. Uh, 24. 29. 30. Ooh. Come on. Oh, come uh, on. Th 30. And then radiant damage? Let's consider radiant damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damage. 30 points of radiant damage. Right. Wonderfully poetic. How do you want to do that? Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, 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 my sorry, God. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, oh, oh. You ruin my rehearsal dinner. <laughs> You better be glad this wasn't tomorrow. <laughs> well, you're not going to be glad at all because I'm going to keep moving forward. As I'm saying it, I'm going to put him in radiant blast as I'm as I shoot him. So as you fire him, each blow, <laughs> he falls to the ground, and you see his body begin to turn into mist. And right as he like falls on his back and begins to turn into mist, the so outer walk. range of the Pelor's blessing on you, the Dawn Father's radiant. <laughs> And you watch him scream as his body just flicks into a hundred pieces of gray ash before it I got, I got, I got, I got for ghost purple. Yeah. <laughs> I got no sleep. Wow. I can't believe that motherfucker killed me the day before our wedding. I know. You're all right. I'm alive. You look great. Thank you, Pike. Who is that? Thank you. Uh. They're so bright. Oh, sorry. Oh, very uh, bright. No, yeah, this is going to last for a while. Sorry about that, Grog. It's got an hour of effect. I was actually going to say, you look a little tired. Is it? 
hella bright. She looks tired the day before. What's wrong with you? God. Oh, I can't believe you did this just the night before your wedding day. <laughs> Pointy face piece of shit. That's right. You guys, seriously, we would have been dead. Dead, dead. Thank you. Thank you. Please. What Thank what's you. a best man for? <laughs> I'm pretty sure not this, but this was this was good. Did Terry not even come? No, he didn't was, even come to fucking save us. Yeah, he was I think pretty he's ass still down. probably uh, sleeping. What happened? I think a lot of the, uh, he, uh, everyone was everyone. What was drugged at your wedding. At this point, you can now see a large group of people rushing up towards the cliffside, the beacon of sunlight drawing their attention to where this is happening. And you watch as Alora, Kima, Gilmore, Terry, Doty, every member of the dinner that was present, arriving in various states of toxicity, battered, bruised, but whatever makeshift weapons in hand they could find ready to come up here and join a fray that you guys had already finished. As they all come up, <sighs> Gilmore kind of looks around. Well, uh, looks like we've got it handled. Um, <sighs> Never worry. I, I mean, I have to say it's kind of like a beautiful spot, though. It is. I know, actually, this is, you know, there's like a golden bit glow with nicer it. Nicer than. There's a little bit of a bit all here. last, last bit of starlight is coming out. Well, we better not risk it. If we waited another day, there could be another attack. <laughs> I'm down if you are. I. Also, oh, yes, I brought it. Also, side note your dad hasn't arrived yet. Oh. <laughs> Bonus. Sort of perfect, then. You really do have like a beautiful glow about you. <laughs> Very bright. Pike? Pike, if you would. Sure, should, should we have someone go get Vesper, or do you want her to sleep? Let us sleep. Okay. Let me just take out my, my oh. fishy notes. There's oh. no traces of Briarwood anything right now. Fingers and jewels and oh. jewelry. Oh. Or like. I don't know, it was his. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Yes. Does that work? Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna use a major image to make uh, a chuppah over them. Oh, <laughs> thank you. And I'll, um, I'll use oh. druid craft to make a bouquet of snowdrops. Of snowdrops. And hand it to her. Grog. Here. Oh shit, fuck! Um, and I, in my giant and large form, smash the stones and I grab up like a bunch of pebbles and I stalk. Throw at them. How appropriate. <laughs> I stand behind Percy. Tony? Uh, uh, hello, yes! <laughs> I was just waiting for my cue. Just get the fuck out there. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> okay. Are you guys ready? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't walk me. Oh, yes, yes, I'm supposed to walk you down the aisle. Here, come with me. So we'll go to the edge of the cliff. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where the ceremonies are. Maybe the ceremony's happening on the edge of the cliff, so we'll go in, in a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I will transform into a Triceratops. <laughs> Interesting choice. And you can get on my back. Okay. <laughs> and I, I will roar a mighty roar. <laughs> roar! <laughs> and I'll <laughs> walk her down the aisle with a little flare. Well, Briar would call back. You don't have to. to Mm. No, you're perfect at okay. some civility, <laughs> I suppose. I get there and climb off of Scanlan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so glad I asked you to do that. Okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> One and all. Welcome to this most blessed union of two of my best friends in the whole wide world. Don't worry, Grog, you're my very, very bestest friend. Okay. I feel so lucky that I was chosen to marry these two most wonderful people. You have all traveled a great distance to join in this celebration, and a celebration it will be. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. These two here are my family. 
a family we have all chosen. Lady Vexalia, my sister, and Lord Percival Frederick Stein von Musel. <laughs> Do it. Glowowski. <laughs> De Rolo the <III>. third. <laughs> for effort. My brother. My life is richer for having known you. And speaking of, well, we were supposed to do this tomorrow, so um, I was going to put an empty chair here for Vax, so that wherever you are, we have a seat here waiting for you. Vex, mother of bears and wayward souls, you are loyal, you love fiercely, and above all, you are kind. Percy, you are dashing, and you are loyal, and you love fiercely, and although you wouldn't want anyone to know it, you are very, very kind. You are now embarking on a journey of love, a love train. <laughs> so spoil each other, make each other laugh, encourage each other, comfort each other, but most importantly, have lots and lots of sex. <laughs> And please, for Auntie Pike, have lots of babies. Well, now it's time for your vows. Who would like to go first? Roll for vows. Okay. Roll for vows. <clears throat> Good tradition. Ten. Six. All right. Does that mean I go first? Yeah, you I guess you pick. A pick, oh wow. Oh, you first, darling. <laughs> <sighs> When I met you, I was at the lowest place I had ever been. I was barely human. I had lost anything that mattered, and I had sunk into a deep, over-romantic shadow. And then this new family came along, and you came along, and Slowly, through time and experience, I learned from you that you can have a romanticized notion of the darkness within yourself, but that darkness must be cast by some light. And there's no sense not romanticizing that as well. And that I could find myself in that again. Every time I thought I would sink, I would see your face. Your face, the first time I truly lost control. And you told me to take off the mask. You have given me a future I had cheaply sold away. You have given me a family I thought forever lost and a future I was prepared to sacrifice for something so trivial, I just literally just watched you take it, and it means nothing compared to this. Uh, I promise to walk into the future with you. I promise to build a family with you, and I promise to always be here for an adventure with you. <laughs> Percival, darling. <laughs> um. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know when it happened when I fell. I sat down and tried to write vows and pinpoint the moment, but... Was it when I first met you? Dressed in rags? Starved? Was it... Was it when I saw you overcome that darkness inside? 
standing tall and proud and unbroken. I thought for sure it was when you stood next to me and helped me face fears I hadn't spoken aloud and support me in a way that no one other than other than my brother had ever done. But honestly, even by that point, I'd, I'd fallen. I think it happened through all the little moments that I, I didn't even notice. You sleeping on my shoulder in the Feywild, or, or when I saw you bent over, laughing so hard you spit chicken out of your mouth because Scanlan had an arrow in his neck. <laughs> I think, I never expected anyone to mean as much to me as, as Vaxildon, to be as important to me, to feel like another half. There was a hole in my heart. And I truly believe the only reason I didn't perish from it is because you were holding my heart so tightly. I thank the gods I gave it to you. It is yours forever and always. I love you, dear. I'm so glad we're together. man and cherish him and love him in every way? I do. Percy, do you promise to take this woman mm. and cherish her and love her in every way? I do. Do you also promise to love and cherish Trinket for all of his days? <laughs> I'm aware that's part of the bargain. <laughs> Vex, Percy, it's time. By the power invested in me. Oh, where the hell is this? Wait, 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 wait. Oh shit! Sorry. Oh, I <laughs> oh, don't get hurt. It's no, my it's first fine. time. Pike, it's fine. <laughs> Rings. Do you, and you, you have both. Of them. Oh, I have both. Okay. Of them, yes. Okay. Yes, I'm okay. It's Pike. Before you do this, hmm? may I just offer one more word? Yes, of course. Uh, I didn't buy you a gift because nothing is expensive enough for you. And, you know, I threw the one thing that you loved away in the acid pit, so, so instead I wanted to give you as a gift just a wish, a wish that your brother would be able to speak to you for just a moment or two on your wedding day. Possible. I'll cast wish. Okay. <laughs> How do you word your wish? I wish that Vaxel Dan can say a few words at his sister's wedding. A cold breeze comes drifting over the cliff face, passes by each of you and you glance in the direction of the cliffside, and you see this dark silhouette towering 10, 15, 20 feet, a billowing mane of black hair and feathers, and a single white mask. From under the cloak, as it opens, you see a familiar set of black leather armor, a feathered mantle, and black hair as Vaxeldon 
the eternal champion and companion to the Raven Queen, steps for the first time in over a year, briefly, on this mortal plane. You said there is a mask affixed. As he steps forward, you can see what looks to be this blackened, leather, raven-type face. Elements of it remind you of Percival's mask, but it's elegant and detailed. One other small detail from the shoulder, rising up, looking like a cross between the cordyceps fungus and bone, spirals up and out of his shoulder and up his neck a bit. Scanlan Short Halt. You are toying with the designs of the gods, still, I see. Old friend. What, I didn't have a, a present, so. <laughs> She's the image that allowed you. That's okay. So the Raven Queen's visage opened up the cloak, and that's where Vaxalan stepped out. Thank you. His face comes off. (laughs) (laughs) It's just a skull. Him. And then I don't know this works. <laughs> I am so glad for you. A child. <laughs> A little girl. Congratulations on this, your first of many blessings, Percival. <laughs> Thank you. Talk, talk to her, idiot. <laughs> Thank you. Don't be weird, talk normal, talk normal, talk normal. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I am safe and taken care of. I am always with you. I know. I know. You will live as long as all of your hearts a beating, I will live within them. And my love will never dim. How beautiful you look. 
I am so proud of all of you. Tanara. Hail uh. to the Tempest. Don't be weird, go hug her. <laughs> Drifts over and wraps Kaelin. Hello, my love. My home. Zephra. Blossoms under your boughs as I knew it would. It's not the same without you. It will not be. How am I supposed to get over you if you keep sending ravens to me? Imperfect as are the gods. That was my poor attempt at humor. I never get over you. Nor I. But you will live. Your life will touch thousands. Thanks to you. Your children. I'll watch over hers. as long as I live. Speech. I pull her in closer. Far, but not gone. We know. Forgive me. There's nothing to forgive. Nothing. We get to go on because of you. It's not taken lightly. He begins to look around the entire group. <coughs> Your grace. The doing. scatters against the No, wall. before he goes. What about the boots? <laughs> <laughs> you watch the feathers scatter and you look back to the cliff <coughs> and the figure, the the image of the Raven Queen is no more. Perfection, Scatman. That was a That was a perfection. Remarkable present. I hope so. I think it was my last wish. Ever? I think so. Would you order? 
17. I think that's your last one. What do you mean? It's okay. It's, it's worth spell. it. But it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to interrupt, Pike. That was the greatest of all interruptions. Well, Kiki, come stand with me, okay? All right. Well, now that we all got to be here, <laughs> now it's time. <laughs> so, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Now please kiss each other. It's <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> real good. Yep. <laughs> A lot of clacking. <laughs> <laughs> He with Druid Crafts 1,000 fireflies to just explode outward. I shoot off a bunch of lightning bolts out of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> As all the friends watching, faces damp with tears, smiles wide with joy, eyes glistening with bits of moonlight come through the darkened sky, the laughter and the music begins as an evening of unexpectedly sudden celebration comes to the wedding day one day early and to celebrate the joining of Lord and Lady Dorolo of Whitestone. Pike, look. I caught the bouquet. Fuck you, dude! Boom! That's mine! <laughs> well, that's it for our adventure tonight. <sighs> I've never, never done a wedding in game. That was that's amazing. crazy. That was amazing. Hi, I'm you guys, I love you so much. It had everything amazing. that weddings should have: vampires, <laughs> drowning, <laughs> poison, light bondage. Uh, when when the, when this one shot, you know, apparated through the Kickstarter, I was like, I want there to be some another element of closure to this. What are some hanging threads in the campaign? And I was like, Fuck. Yeah, you just got to fuck up, like fucking. You, oh you man, <gasps> fucked up Silas, man. That's great. Loose ends, About tied goddamn up. time. There's just a vat of like seven Delilahs somewhere buried deep sure. beneath the earth. Once <laughs> sure. we're done with those, we're in the clear. Close. No, Can we get actually. the deposit back on the venue? <laughs> yeah. uh, unfortunately, we're not covered for acts of empire. Uh, yeah, see we're gonna have a really here. bad escape yeah. tomorrow, though. Yeah, yes. Like Post celebration. Yeah. Um, all right. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Love you. Love you so much. Love you so much. much fun. Thank Aww. you guys so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. <sighs> well, have a wonderful night. We love you very much. And is it Thursday yet? Not soon enough. No. Good night. Oh, so good. <laughs>